Thunderdome. Welcome to Thunderdome. A good Friday evening as we welcome you into the Center Ice Arena in Harrington as we get set for Federal Prospects Hockey League action between the Delaware Thunder and the Battle Creek Rumblebees. I'm Gary Schofield alongside my broadcast partner, Mike Basile. We welcome you into Thunderdome. And Mike, you've got two teams both following uh, pretty similar trajectories, long, lengthy losing streaks. However, one of these two teams still has playoff aspirations, but without a win tonight, you can almost start st stopping that conversation. Well, I'll tell you, both teams are kind of looking at each other, and both teams are pointing fingers here because both are saying, hey, we could win here tonight. The other team's saying, hey, we can win here tonight. And, and it's as simple as that. Both these teams are coming into tonight's matchup with more confidence than I think they've had all season long. You look at a Battle Creek team, they've won one game this season. They come into tonight's matchup thinking, hey, Delaware's fifth in the East. We got a chance against these guys. Delaware's thinking, we need to make the playoffs. We need to win. We have five straight against Battle Creek. We got to come out, win some games, catch up to those men or icebreakers who have been struggling a good bit in front of them. Don't forget, the next 11 games are between the Delaware Thunder and either the Battle Creek Rumblebees or the men or icebreakers. That's 33 points up for grabs in a, in a situation where you're 40 points behind Mentor. And as you mentioned, they've been a lot of turmoil in Mentor. We can talk more about that as the broadcast continues. But it's become a realistic goal to be able to catch the icebreakers. It was about two or three weeks ago, maybe a month ago, when we were here with a big three-game series with Watertown in town, where we thought that was the time where Delaware needed to start to make their march to try to catch Mentor. It's amazing what can happen in a month's span. Right, you know, it's, it's difficult. This Mentor team has been on, to be honest, a complete downfall right now. It seems like just nothing can go right that way. And that happened to Delaware early in the season. It seemed like things were going right. They're up 2-0 in a game, kind of like this weekend against Watertown. They're up 2-0. Blink of an eye, you go on a 5-on-3. It's 2-2. Watertown's got the lead before you know it. It's just little things like that that need to change up for this team. They could have beat Watertown and Elmira this weekend, 2 out of 3. The shots after the first period in that Sunday game in Elmira, 21-6 to six in favor of the Delaware Thunder. Only one goal. And the interesting thing is it's been a, a usual story the other way around for the Thunder this year, giving up many more shots than what they get on net. And I think that's going to be the key this weekend. You're looking at a Battle Creek team that comes in. They're averaging less than two goals per game. Their leading scorer is suspended tonight as we won't see Ryan Alvis on the, on the ice. But when we say leading scorer, he's got 11 goals and 27 points. At this point in the season, you expect to see a lot more production at the top of the stat sheet. You do, and for a Battle Creek team, you look at the goals for 79 goals for so far on the season. They've played 42 games. That's averaging less than two goals a game. That's just unacceptable, if we're being honest. It's tough to win games like that. And you look at their record, obviously it's less than good. You're not surprised with only averaging that little amount of goals per game. It's just the problem that it's been all season. I spoke to Terry Ficarelli, who's an unbelievable broadcaster for the Battle Creek Rumblebees. He's up in the broadcaster today. And he said all season long, it's been the same thing. They can't put the puck in the net. Joel Eisenhower is a heck of a goaltender. And you, you see him play yesterday in Port Huron, Wednesday night, I should say, in Port Huron. He kept the team in the game. It's 3-1 to one in the third. And I talked to their coach, Adam Steele. He said they had a goal that hit the crossbar. That's a 2-1 game. And Port Huron's a high-scoring offensive team. Absolutely. So if that's the case, right, so if you're a Delaware Thunder team, now you're riding your own 14-game losing streak, how do you avoid feeling overconfident coming out for this game tonight? It's plain and simple. You, you can't get overconfident. You can't say this is our game, this is our win. You got to go out and earn it. You have to go out and earn it against anybody in this league. Delaware's beaten the Elmiras. We've beaten Columbus. Those are teams that probably like, they say, oh yeah, we're going to come in and, and take care of business against Delaware. It doesn't happen if you don't bring your A game. Elmira lost to this Battle Creek team. Elmira is arguably the top team in the season. Them and Dan Barry are teeter-totter back, back and forth for that first place. Who's it going to be? Last night checked, it was four points difference between the Elmira Enforcers and the Danbury Hattrick for first place in the Eastern Division. Dan Barry in Columbus tonight. Elmira will be hosting Danville later this evening. Now, when you, uh, you look at the lineup for the Thunder tonight, three recognizable names that won't be dressed Missing Kieran Devine, who's still uh, injured, and then Patrick Tundles out. Bryce Litke is scratched tonight, but some new face or, or newer faces back. Christers Bormanis is back in the lineup as he rejoined the team last weekend after suspension, and a new face that Thunder fans here in the Thunderdome haven't had a chance to see yet, and that's Darius Davidson. Tell us about him. Well, I'll tell you, they're going to be very happy to see Darius Davidson. He's a nice-sized body. He's got a heck of a shot. He's not afraid to get to the front of the net. 
He's a quiet guy. He goes about his business, and he works really hard. He's the type of guy you want on your team. He leads by example. He's not necessarily going to be your vocal leader on the bench, but he'll go out and score a goal for you. He'll go out and set up a great play for you. Darius Davidson is, might be the piece that this team's been missing this season up front. And they're going to pair him up on the top line tonight with Thomas Municello and Mark Anthony Simonetta, who's been a nice addition to this Thunder team as well. Let's quickly get you through our starting lineups tonight. As we just mentioned up front for the Thunder, Darius Davidson, Thomas Municello, and Mark Anthony Simonetta. On the blue line, it'll be the captain, Charlie Penns, along with a player coach and the assistant captain, and Captain Anthony Paisano. In the net, it'll be number 39, Aaron Taylor. For the visiting Battle Creek Rumblebees, up front on the left wing, Alexander Gregorich, who came over in the Brandon Contrato trade from Port Huron. Right wing tonight will be the captain, Shea Carey, and the center is John Champlain. On the blue line for the Battle Creek Rumble B, Sebastian Cristal and Ethan Bush Anderson. And in net, as Mike was just singing his praises, Joel Eisenhower gets the start for Battle Creek. He comes in with a goals against a 5-7-4 and an 8-84 save percentage with a record of 117 and one overtime loss. Mikey, we're just a few minutes from the national anthem here. Let's get your keys to the game for tonight. Well, you look at this game, you look at this matchup, it's two teams that have struggled, both in the same department. Both have struggled to score goals. 124 for Delaware, 79 for Battle Creek. Battle Creek's given up 259 goals. Granted, a lot of those came early. The first goal is gonna be so huge because, Gary, how many are gonna come in this game? We don't know. If it's a 2-1 game, that first goal is huge. You get the momentum, you get feeling good. First goal of this game for either team is going to be good. And only 10% on the power play is Battle Creek. 64% on the penalty kill. Delaware's got to take advantage of going up the man tonight. It's a great opportunity to get those specialty teams healthy, which has really been a struggle for the Thunder over the last month or so as they've been riding their 14-game losing streak. Of course, they went to overtime for the first time in team history last Sunday and came up on the short end against the Elmira Enforcers. Starting lineups are being announced by our PA address, uh, P public address announcer, Tom Schultz. Take you around the FHL tonight. We mentioned the Danville Dashers are in Elmira to take on the Enforcers. The Danbury Hattricks are in Columbus tonight against the River Dragons. The Carolina Thunderbirds will be at Watertown. Interesting matchup there with the Wolves. And then the Mentor Icebreakers at Port Huron. And again, uh, the situation in Mentor, firing of their head coach last week. Several of their players have left the team and been suspended indefinitely by the league. So they're filling out the roster as best they can. This is a prime opportunity for the Delaware Thunder to seriously start a playoff push tonight. And there are detractors that kind of criticize the playoff format here in the FHL. Eight out of ten teams get in. But you know what? The players aren't responsible for that. They want an opportunity to say, hey, we made the postseason. Right, and this Delaware Thunder team has a huge chance to do so. I know people are saying an 8-30 and 30 team has a chance to make the playoffs, yada, yada, yada. They're going to work hard. I know they're going to give their best foot forward these last couple weeks of the season. Being with these guys, getting to see them at practice every day, they want to make the playoffs more than anything. And we'll turn it over now for our national anthem. And we are just seconds away from the opening face-off between the Battle Creek Rumble Rumblebees 
and the Delaware Thunder. Another good crowd on hand tonight here at Thunderdome. Special weekend here at Thunderdome, Mikey. We've got some memorabilia that's up for auction. Tomorrow night is Cancer Awareness Night. The Thunder will be wearing special purple Delaware Thunder jerseys, which will all be auctioned off at the end of the night to go towards uh, cancer awareness and cancer research. So uh, also some signed player memorabilia that will be available for fans this weekend as well. Yeah, we had some fun with that video. I know you saw it, Gary. I did. I know you had it. We had some fun. Uh, Charlie Penn's uh, junior was like, hey, let's have some fun with this. I was like, yeah, I, I agree. So uh, we had some fun after practice one day. I got out on the ice a little bit, which is not a sight for sore eyes anymore. <laughs> I've, I'm past my days. But tonight up for auction, the Charlie Penn signed helmet which is pretty cool. Tomorrow night, Daniel DeCristofaro signed gloves and Sunday the big man's jersey, Anthony Paisano. Puck drop, Gary. Here we go. Mark Anthony Simonetta going up against Champlain in the opening draw. Delaware takes control and Thomas Municello dumps it in and we're underway at Thunderdome between the Rumble Bees and the Thunder. Municello in front, they score! Darius <laughs> Davidson. <laughs> Darius Davidson, welcome to the lineup. 11 seconds in, it's Thomas Municello with a beautiful cross ice feed. Absolutely no mistake. It was Eisenhower who made the mistake, and it's 1-0 Delaware. Yeah, it was a tough giveaway in the corner there. Very bad play by Eisenhower, if we're being honest. Just 11 seconds in, and Darius Davidson lights the layup. Thunder are up 1-0. Off the draw now, Battle Creek takes possession. They'll dump it in, it goes in on Taylor. He'll hand it off to Paisano. Little touch pass for Evgeny Demon. Gets it ahead, Christers Bormanis. Pass just behind Anton Kalinin, who's wearing number 90 tonight. Back at center ice, Bormanis loses his edge. Kalinin will play it ahead. Works around Demon. Drop pass for Bormanis, he'll turn back. Through the slot, was trying to get Devin, but missed him in the corner. And Battle Creek will come away with it. They'll play it along the near side. Carey throws it right back out in front of his own goaltender. And the Rumble Bees will look to regroup. Good pressure there by Brennan Young. Bush Anderson now will try to play it. Deflected by Evan McIntosh. Masters keeps it in. Evan with a quick shot from the circle. And that's stopped by Eisenhower. Buck behind the net, though. Brennan Young, Masters right in the slot. His shot, that goes wide. We're right back to Brennan Young. And the Thunder keeping the pressure on here. Masters goes to the corner with Bush Anderson as they battle for it. And coming away with it is Lester Brown. He'll look to clear out for the Rumble Bees, and he does. Nice touch pass to Solis. But he gets poke checked by DeCristofaro as the puck goes behind Aaron Taylor. A little bump from Christo. Basie holds off a Rumble Bees player, and Masters is able to play it back to center. Gary, you didn't expect to get that excited this early, huh? I didn't. I <laughs> almost lost a tire. I was afraid you were going to have to take over for the rest of the night there. <laughs> Woo! See what happens when I take two weeks off when you go on the road, Mikey? I know. you got to come with me. Masters with a quick shot. That goes off the shoulder of Eisenhower. They battle at the blue line. Puck comes loose. Jordan Clark will play it for Delaware. Back into the Battle Creek zone. That clearing attempt's knocked down. Municello. Simonetta. Throws it. He scores! Mark Anthony Simonetta. Right in front on a nice pass from Municello. Makes it 2 nothing. Look at the first line go to work. Darius Davidson on for both goals. Welcome to Delaware. Jordan Clark makes the play at the blue line. Knocks the puck down, Minicello. Great feed. Eisenhower does not look great early in this contest. 2-0 Delaware. Simonetta, five hole. Well, to be fair, too, he's not getting a lot of help either, which is kind of par for the course of this season for Battle Creek. Second goal of the season for Simonetta. Puts Delaware up 2-0. Driasi will play it in. We get a whistle, though. Ryan Driasi was on this Thunder team just a little while ago up in Danville. My apologies, down in Carolina, he right. made the trip with us. He had some good, good action on the Friday night game. Didn't see much action Saturday. He's making his debut with Battle Creek tonight. After the icing, Evgeny Demon on the draw there with Pfeiffer. Pfeiffer wins it for Battle Creek. Demon, though, gets it back to Dunford at the blue line. Evgeny right in the slot. That goes under the skate of Tony Kalinin. But Jordan Clark will fire. This time Eisenhower corrals that, and he'll hold on. Taylor Cutting getting a little extra activity in front. Well, Gary, unfamiliar territory here for the Delaware Thunder as it's 2 nothing, just two and a half minutes into this contest. Well, it's an interesting point, too. We were talking to Coach Penns before the game, and he said he needs his team in a situation like this 
to step on the other team's throat. You mentioned the 2-0 lead in Watertown last week that they gave up and ended up losing that game. We'll see if they can continue the onslaught here in the first period. But here comes Battle Creek the other way. Driasi made a run, and that puck, I don't know that that came out of the zone, but they call Pfeiffer offside. That was close. Well, that's just a little bit of what Ryan Driasi can do. He's got a ton of speed, and he's really gifted with the hands. The only problem is he's not the biggest guy. And you know, Gary, you've been around the league long enough now that usually these smaller guys in a physical league like this do have a little trouble, especially near the front of the net area. Off the draw, Battle Creek wins it. Cristal at the red line. He'll backpedal, plays it to Bush Anderson. He'll dump it in. That's deflected by McIntosh, though. It's right behind Charlie Penns. He didn't realize it, and it came right free in the slot. Battle Creek winds and fires. Kristall shot. That got Penns right in the shoulder, and now we get a whistle. That one stung the captain, and he's bent over in pain. He he's, looks like he's holding his shoulder, his chest. That might have caught him up in the neck. It looked like it got him in the shoulder area, maybe up in the neck here. He's coming straight to the bench. We hope that Charlie Penns is okay. Cutting's going to the box for a two-minute minor for a trip, but it didn't even look like Cutting got him. It looked like he just caught an edge, and this could be the problem where the game starts to turn. Well, we mentioned the importance of the special league teams for the Thunder. It's been a struggle the last six weeks, no question. But you mentioned in the pregame too, Mikey, Battle Creek just 10% on the power play. Charlie's going to go back to the locker room to get checked out by the medical staff. You know, it's kind of that situation where the shoulder pads, they leave just that enough of that uh, collarbone open up front. Two minute minor to Taylor Cutting. A little question with the scoreboard, but we got that figured out. Dunford's clearing attempt is kept in at the blue line. Comes free in a slot backhand shot. That goes wide to Taylor. And now Dunford's going to get another chance to clear. And he puts it on the tape of Anton Kalinin. Again, he in the other way. They'll crisscross. Kalinin from the circle. Tried to work around the defenseman. Still has the puck. Throws it in front. Demon with a backhand shot. Big save by Eisenhower as he gloves that down. Here comes Battle Creek the other way. That might just be what Joel Eisenhower needed to get back into this game. That was a huge save on Evgeny Demon. Again, Battle Creek unable to get themselves set up for the power play. You kind of get a sense from the first 30 seconds of this man advantage why they're only at 10% on the season. Nicoletti in the corner. Shuffles it ahead to Champlain, but now he'll backpedal and try to reset the rush for the Rumblebees. Champlain across the blue line. He'll just dump it in behind, hoping to get Volf, but instead it was Basie who plays it into the corner. Backhanded there by Brown. Brown, top of the circle, winds and fires, and that one went right off the foot of Anton Kalina. Looked like he had considered going to the bench for a second but stayed out, and Evgeny Demon's able to clear, and now they get a change. Charlie Pence comes back to the bench. That's huge for this Delaware Thunder team. Great block by Anton Kalina, and usually for him, you see it more in the offensive end, but that's two good plays. Picked off a pass and blocked a shot already tonight. Solis into the zone, under 40 seconds to go on the power play. Quick rising shot. I couldn't tell if Taylor got a piece of that or if it just rose over the goal. Back to Solis behind the net. He'll work around to the circle, drops it to Bush Anderson at the blue line. His shot, that goes off the skate of Jordan Clark to the far wall. Battle Creek keeps it in, around behind. That's Wolf after it. He'll get it to Solis. Solis holds. Time running out on the man advantage. Finally, Battle Creek gets set up. Luciani with a shot, that goes off the side of the net. And now Wolf behind, back to Solis at the point. Solis walks in, trying to find a passing lane, but couldn't. Solis again up top. Cutting's getting ready to come out of the box. Wolf, he'll wind and fire, and that one goes well wide. That kicks to the far wall. Darius Davidson gets to it. His pass, though, for Simonetta was behind him. Cristal gets to it for Battle Creek and plays it back through center. Pass for Solis too far. And Jordan Clark will grab it for Delaware. That went off the stick of Simonetta, but should still be icing, but it looks like they waved it off. 14.43 to go. Delaware leads 2-0. They just killed a two-minute minor. Davidson throws it into the slot, but finds it into the skates of Michael Thomas, and Battle Creek's at least able to get it back to center, but DeCristofaro will play it there for Delaware. Yeah, you see a little bit why Darius Davidson's such a dangerous player. He's very quick with the puck. He always gets it moving, bad play. Interception by Thomas on a bad pass by DeCristofaro, but Taylor quick with the glove. That might be the first official shot on goal of the night. And it's gonna be the first official shot on the goal. I don't think the shot from Solios early in the game hit the net. I think, like you said, it was up and over the cage. So that will be the first shot for Battle Creek. And to be honest, Gary, I think it will count as a shot, but it looked like it was headed wide. It sure was. 14-22 to go. Face off to the left of Taylor. Battle Creek with another face off win, but fumbling the puck there was Grigorich, and they play it back to center. McNary after it. He'll corral. 
Christers Bormanis will pressure him. And pass a little bit too far for Grigorich. Now it's loose at the Delaware blue line, and Dunford just snipes it back to center. But Christers Bormanis picks it up with speed into the Battle Creek zone. To Evgeny Demon in the slot. Backhands one right in front. Score! Tony Kalinin, welcome back to Thunderdome. And it's 3 0 Delaware. Absolutely huge. It's a smart play by Christers Bormanis. He moves it to the center of the ice. Hits a body in front right onto the stick of Anton Kalinin. It's a smart play, and an even smarter play here. Timeout by the Battle Creek Rumblebees, who are down three to nothing just over six minutes into this game. Very unfamiliar territory for Delaware here. Well, you might be saying to yourself, wait a minute, who's number 90? Anton Kalinin is number 90 now. Of course, he was not here the last time the Thunderdome were in town as he was away for a couple of weeks. Came back to the team last week. It was such a welcome sight. To see him back on the line with Evgeny Demin and it pays off there. Well, I'll tell you what's huge here. This Delaware Thunder team, they need to stay on the gas pedal here. Like we said, so a problem that could be is when this team kind of lays off and rolls back. This is where they need to step up and play very good hockey. Well, we're going to have a clock issue here in a second as the clock is continuing to run. I think what happened before is it didn't run. Oh, okay. So maybe we'll be good with 13.33 to go. Because the officials are right there, under there. They're watching that point. happen. You know, it's tough, too. Like, I, I kind of feel for the Battle Creek team. You know, this is kind of the same old story for them. Right. Uh, and how do you bounce back? How do you keep the, the momentum of trying to put your game plan together and keep pushing and pressing? So we'll see how they respond. Down 3 nothing. not even seven minutes into this contest. Well, the big question to me is what, what happened from Wednesday to here? You play a Port Huron team so tough and so well, and here you come out and you say, and it's real tough. I know Battle Creek traveled through the night and is now here, obviously playing a game, so that's not easy on them. Well, but it, it's a tough, tough start. Certainly is. They're going to look for a bounce to go their way. Pfeiffer with a quick shot from the near wall, and Taylor gloves that down. You know, if you were scouting Aaron Taylor as a goaltender, you would say A-plus with the glove hand, right? I would say the best part of Aaron's game is rebound control one. Number two's got to be that glove hand, which is a huge part of rebound control, obviously. Evan McIntosh facing off here with Jared Pfeiffer. Off the draw, Pfeiffer wins it. Wolf, he'll fire one from the slot. That's padded away by Taylor. Loose on the far wall. Good to see the captain back out there, Charlie Penns, after taking that shot up high just a couple of minutes ago. Battle Creek's able to play it back into the zone. That's where Penns will play to head to Masters. Masters couldn't get it out of his skates. And now the Rumblebees will look to come the other way. Pass deflected. Paisano gives a little hello to Wolf. Maybe just giving him something to think about later. Battle Creek will chase, didn't get far enough for an icing call. Pass off the far wall. Wolf picks it up there. It's been a struggle to get out of their own zone for Battle Creek. They fumbled the puck in some opportune times in the offensive zone as well. Here come the Thunder back on the attack. Well, Gary, yeah. let me ask you this. For the Delaware Thunder team, you're up 3-0 here early. It seems like things are going right. Number one, you got to stay out of the box here, obviously. But number two for this team, how do you keep the momentum down? I, well, that's that. I think you just keep doing what you're doing. I mean, you're dominating in the offensive zone. You're creating turnovers and capitalizing. So I think you play the D back and let your forwards play. Quick shot from the slot there from Brown. That's corralled as well by Aaron Taylor. As you said, Mikey, that rebound control, which has steadily improved throughout the season. I'll tell you, early on in the year, I would have said that was Aaron's Achilles heel, giving up a lot of rebound goals. But, man, he's really done a good job throughout the year getting better in that area. Aaron Taylor, to me, is a big leader on this team. It might not be vocally, but every night he comes to play. I haven't seen a game this year where Aaron Taylor has really buckled right. and, and looked not good. I mean, Aaron Taylor, in my mind, is a top goalie in this league, and every night gives Delaware a chance to win. Couldn't have said it better myself. Off the draw, Taylor knifes that into the corner. Chris DeFaro, though, lost it for a moment. Simonette is able to get to it for Delaware. Of course, goal scorer tonight. Mark Anthony got his second of the season. He walks across the blue line here. Tried to get it into the slot. Good play by Kristall to deflect that away, but now right in the circle, Municello plays it back to Basie. Basie will wind it behind. Simonette has got it there. Tried to backhand it along further, and he finds Darius Davidson. Davidson also scored a goal in his first shift, just 11 seconds into the game. His first night as a member of the Thunder here at Thunderdome, and he lights the lamp. 11.30 to go. It's 3-0 Delaware. There's Darius Davidson coming through the neutral zone. 
Across the blue line, quick rising shot. Might have caught the knob of the stick of Eisenhower. Municello gets to the rebound, though, and DeCristofaro will wind it back in. Chasing there, McNary. He'll just try to get it through center. Basie knocks that down. Bush Anderson will play it for Battle Creek. Another good shift by this top line, and now they got three dynamic players on line number one, Delaware. You got Simonetta, who's a speedster. You got Thomas Municello, who's got the great vision. You got Davidson, who's a pure scorer. Don't forget this line either. They score! Tony Kalinin on a beautiful feed from Christers Bormanis, and now it's 4-0. Wow, what a pass by Bormanis to be able to see Kalinin sneak in back door and bury it. That's the second of the night for Anton Kalinin. That's just a beautiful play, and there's got to be some defensive deficiencies with Battle Creek. Too many guys in prime scoring areas uncovered has led to this 4-0 lead. Off the draw, Strack plays it ahead. Grigorich with a shot, that's knocked down by Taylor. And Jordan Clark will play it there. His clearing attempt kept in by Strack, deflected by Grigorich into the corner. Christers Bormanis tries to get it further. Instead, Grigorich back out to the blue line. Backhand pass right in front, Grigorich fans on the shot. And Evgeny Demon picks up the loose puck. His clearing attempt comes to Bormanis and now a two on one developing. Kalinin. Defense there nicely by McNary as the Battle Creek Rumblebees are able to clear it out. So they survive that potential two on one. But right back the other way is Tony Kalinin on a nice pass from Aaron Taylor. But he can't keep the puck in, but Demon does. Plays it in behind. Christers Bormanis has it there. He's bodied by Bush Anderson, and Pfeiffer will look to play it for Battle Creek. He gets bodied by Kalinin. They'll battle for it since skates along the far wall, and the Rumblebees are able to get it back to center where. Charlie Penns will play. Well, that's another part of Aaron Taylor's game that people forget. He's great with the puck on his stick. How yep. many goalies could do that? Spring a two-on-one themselves. Exactly. He's got five assists on the season. Quick shot from Eric Masters. That goes high and wide of Eisenhower. Kept in at the point by Penns. His shot's deflected by Volf. That goes into the netting. And with 9.38 to go in the first period, I think we'll get the media timeout here with the Thunder leading four to nothing. A rare media timeout on time, Gary. Right. Just under that 10 minute mark. 4 0 Thunder here. As it looks like they're going to send Aaron Taylor back to the. Oh, now they are figuring it out that it's the media timeout. Well, I'm, I'm wondering if they're confused because Battle Creek called the timeout. Yep, now we get it. Now, now we're back on. The yeah. ref asked Aaron Taylor, why are you going? And <laughs> he said, oh, yeah, after Aaron said media timeout. So sometimes you just need a little help from your friends. Without a question, 938. And that gives me an opportunity to wish you, my friend, a happy belated birthday. You celebrated, was it number 26 yesterday? Yeah, 26, 26. And you got a very interesting gift uh, from your friends from the Delaware Thunder. If anybody hasn't seen this video, you go to the Delaware Thunder Facebook page or any of the social media sites or the YouTube channel, I believe. Is this a hockey tradition? It is. Where you get the snow shower? Well, I wouldn't call it a hockey tradition. It's usually if you lose the shootout game or if you lose something, that's how. But for me, unfortunately, that was, I guess, my birthday gift from the team. Well, I have to ask you, though, did they treat you to a pina colada later to kind of warm you up? <laughs> no, we went out to dinner. A couple of the guys and I, you know, we had a nice little meal. So it, it was fun. It was a good time. Good time. Well, happy birthday, my friend. Thank I hope you, you enjoyed you. it. And hopefully you're stirring up a pina colada tonight the way the Thunder are stirring up a potential victory with these Rumble Bees. 4 nothing. out of the media timeout. Taylor Cutting throws one in front. That goes wide. Solis plays it there for the Rumble Bees. Back behind. Battle Creek trying to get it out. Finally they do, but the pass is a bit too far for Luciani. Cutting with a shot from just inside the blue line. Eisenhower is able to make the save and hold on there. Cutting got a little bump from Brown. Not sure he liked that very much. I'm sure he did it knowing Taylor Cutting. I gotta say, Gary, you look at the captain, Charlie Penns, look at what he's done already tonight. Eats that shot up high. He's right back in the game, and I saw him barking to the bench, let's go, stay on it. And that's exactly what you need from a captain. And that's why Charlie Penns wears that C, man. Off the draw, Solis trying to play through center. Puck gets deflected and played back into the Battle Creek zone. Pass under the stick of Solis to Cristofaro. All right, on the tape for Simonetta. Darius Davidson into the Battle Creek zone. That's a good play by Bush Anderson to at least get the puck away momentarily. And a nice deflection there as well by Cristal. Now Solis gets banged at the blue line by Basie, loses the puck. And Daniel DeCristofaro is able to play it the other way for Delaware. 
Works around to Rumble B and a beautiful pass on the tape of Davidson. Darius Davidson tries to work through McNary, but a good play there by the Battle Creek defenseman. But to Cristofaro, winds and fires one from the blue line. That deflects off of a member of the Battle Creek team right into the bench. Joking around a little bit with Dan to Cristofaro today, say, you're not afraid to shoot the puck, are you? Anytime the puck is on the offensive zone and it's on to Cristofaro's stick, I'd say it's going towards the net a good bit of time. That time, unfortunately for Delaware, blocked and up and out of play. This is certainly the best passing night I think I've seen from the Thunder tonight. Say what you will about the Battle Creek defense. The passes out of the defensive zone for Delaware tonight have been on point from the opening draw. Tony Kalinin looking for the natural hat trick as he works his way into the slot. To Cristofaro from the blue line, you mentioned not afraid to shoot. No traffic in front though, so Eisenhower is able to glove that down. Yeah, that's the problem there. No traffic in front, no problem for Joel Eisenhower, who struggled a bit in period number one, but Gary, I do agree with you. He did get hung out to drive, but those first two goals, the Davidson and Simonetta, I think those are ones that the first goal he put upon himself, right. the second one, I say you gotta have that. Yeah, he'll tell you he wants that one back 99% of the time. Off the draw, Battle Creek comes away with it. But again, can't complete a pass through the neutral zone. Here comes Delaware the other way. Kalina can't connect with Bormanis. And now Carey will come back the other way, the captain for Battle Creek. Nice move to get it to Grigorich, but then he gets bumped at the blue line by Dunford. Clearing attempt, not out. Champlain does a nice job to keep it in. But then his shot didn't have a ton of mustard on it. Easily blocked aside by Taylor. And here comes Evgeny Demon. Demon drop pass Kalinin. Works around a Battle Creek defender right through the slot, but then loses it on the backhand. But we're going to get a penalty. Not sure if we're going to get a trip or an interference, but a delayed call, and the Thunder are going to go to the power play. Looks like it's going to be a slash, actually, Gary. It was from behind on Anton Kalinin. Wasn't sure exactly who got him. Might have been Volf. It looks like he's going to be the one going to the box here. Jared Pfeiffer, number 17, will serve the two-minute minor for Battle Creek. As you mentioned, 64% on the penalty kill, not good numbers. And for a Thunder power play, it has had its struggles this season, a chance for them to get healthy this weekend. I know it's something they've worked a ton on over the last few weeks. And look at that, Darius Davidson at the point, along with Pens, plays catch with Killeenan. Back up top to Davidson, his shot blocked. Nice play by Champlain, and then he's able to backhand it out of the zone. I don't like that play, though, from Davidson there. Too many bodies in front, and it's a dangerous play. Back out the other way. Battle Creek could have an odd man rush. Demon, good pass, Municello. He'll backhand that one to Davidson. Davidson across the blue line. Looking, looking. Works around behind the net. Gets it to Demon at the circle. Back to Davidson. Tries to work into the slot. Nearly lost it as Solis poke checked him. They're able to keep it in. Davidson fakes the shot. Nice pass, Kalinin, and he scores! Anton Kalinin with what I believe is the first natural hat trick in Thunder history as Tony scored the last three goals. He's now got 18 on the year, and the Thunder are up 5 nothing. Wow, what a pass from Davidson. And congratulations to Tony Kalinin. You are 100% right. The first natural hat trick. Three in a row, and Charlie Penn's trying to get the crowd fired up. Five goals. The first period is not even over. It's one. It's 5 nothing Thunder. You mentioned Darius Davidson and his playmaking ability in the pregame. That fake shot and then to find Kalinin there down low, absolutely beautiful. Now we get a whistle. Not quite sure what the question is coming from the Battle Creek bench. So they're not happy about something, though. Yeah. I'm not sure Six, what the call was. 6.57 to go, 5 nothing Delaware. Well, nothing will come of the barking from the Battle Creek bench. Brendan Young off the draw, gets to Devin McIntosh who loses momentarily, but he's able to keep it in and he'll play it in behind. McNary gets bumped from cutting and loses the puck. Brown plays it along. Further into the neutral zone, now it's on to Thomas. Thomas across the blue line, looks to work around to Cristofaro, does! Threw it right through the slot. And Brown was complaining for a call, he wanted to get a hooking call on Basie, but here comes Taylor cutting the other way. His shot saved by Eisenhower. Brennan Young, fake the shot, carries into the corner. He gets bumped by McNary. McNary tries to work it ahead. That's just under the stick of Marco Luciani and then a big bump from Taylor Cutting. Bring in the Thunder. Pushes McNary in the back. McIntosh plays it further along. I don't think they were quite sure where the puck was there for a moment. Coming in to try to rescue things was Michael Thomas but then he loses his edge finally. Battle Creek's able to play it through the zone. Not gonna get far enough for an icing. 
Well, Gary, I know Battle Creek's got to push. They're down 5 nothing, But you got four men in deep right at the red line in the offensive zone. You come back, it's another two-on-one. There's been five odd man rushes for the Thunder in the first period. Good job to keep it in there by Simonetta. And then losing the puck is number 89. That's uh, David Nicoletti. Grigorich now comes through the neutral zone. Walks right into the slot. Takes a bump from Pens, but is still able to get the shot off. Rebound. Aaron Taylor doesn't even realize it, but it's under his legs as he makes the stop but keeps this game 5 to nothing. That's a good play by Grigorich to set things up there. Good play by the captain, I thought. You stand up the man in the slot. That's exactly what you do. First shot didn't have a lot of muster. I think it might have surprised Aaron Taylor just a bit there. And the rebound, another big save by the goaltender, number 39, Aaron Taylor, who has had a quiet first period. He's not used to seeing that, I'm sure. Right. Off the draw, Battle Creek able to keep it in. Side angle shot from Grigorich. And Taylor's able to glove that down, and he'll hold for another faceoff. Aaron Taylor, another save right off the faceoff. Delaware still seems to be struggling in the faceoff department in this first period. Champlain and Simonetta will go again here. Well, Simonetta really had been playing wing for the most part since he joined the team. But playing in the middle of this line, it's been dynamic so far tonight. Well, it looks like the coaching staff has made the right decision moving him to center. This line's been unstoppable in period one. Darius Davidson will dump it in behind. Municello will get there first. Simonetta with a side angle shot. That's blocked. Battle Creek, though, still struggling to get out of the zone. Finally, Grigorich does, despite the pestering from the Delaware defense. Paisano is able to play it ahead. Simonetta across for Davidson. Darius works around the defender, Nicoletti. Finds Simonetta, but then he fumbles the puck right into the Battle Creek zone. He'll go to the wall with Pfeiffer, but then he peels off, giving Jordan a chance to get a free out as Delaware is going to go for a change. Nicoletti on the stick of Pfeiffer. Pfeiffer across the blue line. Big hit from the captain, Penns. Beautiful hip check. You can't do it any better than Penns just did. But the Battle Creek Rumblebees get the puck in the neutral zone. Volf will play it back for Cristal as we're down to 420 to go here in the first period. Gary, in this hockey league, how many open ice hip checks do you see nowadays? That's a big hit from the captain, Charlie Penns. Delaware is all over the Rumblebees in period one. Dunford to Kalinin. Natural hat trick scorer in this period. He scored the last three goals of the game as it's 5 0 Delaware. And now the Thunder, I would, I, I'm not going to say they're playing back because here comes Kenny Demon right through the slot, trying to work through Eisenhower. Throws it right into the slot. It was in the skates of Connor McNary. He's able to kick it calmly into the corner, but the Thunder get back to it. Demon plays it along. It's off of Bormanis. McNary gets to it again. His backhand attempt, again, knocked down by Bormanis as Delaware keeps it in. Kept in at the blue line, Jordan Clark. Looked like he was going to shoot, but now he'll just hold and play it into the corner. He'll find Killeen, and he's worked over by Cristal. Battle Creek finally looks like they'll be able to get out of the zone here, but Volf's pass is intercepted by Demon. Killeen right in front, spins back into the circle, tried to find Demon in the slot, but that puck was intercepted, but again, the clearing attempt will be kept in by the Thunder. Killeen again walks right into the circle. Plays it back to Dunford at the blue line. He'll fake the shot and across to Clark. Clark throws one in. That's deflected. And now behind, Kristall plays it along. Shot from the blue line. That handcuffed Eisenhower a bit. It goes behind the net. Battle Creek finally able to get it out of the zone. And it goes back and Aaron Taylor will play it as we're down to 2.50 to go. It looked like Kalinin got a tip on that in front. And that's why it surprised Joel Eisenhower. That shot from there would never surprise a goaltender at this level. McIntosh, quick shot from the circle. That's saved by Eisenhower, but Evan gets the rebound. Worked over by two Brumblebees behind the net. They continue to battle for it. Finally, it squirts out, and Eric Masters will play it along. Brennan Young, as they work the cycle game. Basie from the point. He'll wind and fire, and that's blocker down by Eisenhower. And Battle Creek finally able to get it out of the zone, but DeCristofaro intercepts the pass at center. Basie's clearing attempt right into the belly of Cristo, and Daniel will just walk it behind the Delaware net. Right on the tape of McIntosh, Mac across for Basie. Basie gets it back to center, but Carey intercepts for Battle Creek. He'll play it back into the zone. Strock holds, that's tipped in by Champlain. And Carey will chase with the Cristofaro in the corner. Cristo gets to it first, and Alex Basie comes away with it for the Thunder. His pass ahead to Masters. Hey, good poke check there at the blue line. Shots wide, that's Justin Brown. And now he comes up a little lame as his I don't know if he caught a stick there on the follow through, but he's shaking that left hand. And he's having a bit of difficulty playing at center. He's going to go to the bench now. McIntosh 
Strips one. Darius Davidson works around Strzok. Top of the circle. Gets a little too far down low. And now works his way back in front. Shot from a tough angle. And that's stopped by Eisenhower. He puts the net back on its moorings and play continues. Steal at the blue line. Here comes Solis. Good poke check there by Charlie Pens And Paisano will play it at the blue line. Right off the stick of Simonetta. And Nicoletti will play it for Battle Creek. 1-10 to go in the first period. 5-0 Delaware. Munichello working in the corner. Pfeiffer plays it along. Solis has it there. Still can't get it away from Munichello. Finally is able to punch it back to center. And here comes Battle Creek. Solis and Wolf. Poke check from Paisano. Solis in the corner. Avoids the big check. Puck still loose though as they work through skates there. Simonetta will play it further. Hoping for Darius Davidson. Tried to knife that out to center. It deflects off the stick of Pfeiffer and into the netting. Well, Gary, I don't want to sound lame, but for me, the most enjoyable part of this first period is watching Delaware break out of their own zone. It's been flawless. It's been smooth. It's something that's been choppy before and right. strugglesome. Now, tonight, it's been a work of art. It's an excellent point. The breakouts have been great, which have led to some of those odd man rushes that you were referring to earlier on in the period. Off the draw here. In skates, they battle for it. It'll come to Munichello. He'll play it ahead to Darius Davidson. He'll look to start another rush for the Thunder. He's marked there by Bush Anderson. Puck's loose behind the net. Munichello gets to it. Works around one of the Battle Creek defenders. Puck's still loose at the side of the net. Simonetta walks in front and a save by Eisenhower as the puck comes loose to the near wall. And Battle Creek will just play it back to center and Jordan Clark will chase. 15 seconds to go here in the first period. And I don't believe Jordan will be in much of a rush to break out here. 10 seconds now, a little bit of pressure from Champlain. And there's another good breakout like you mentioned. Bormanis to Kalinin. Kalinin, two seconds left, one second shot hits the side of the net. And that'll bring us to the end of the first period. Woo! Fireworks the like that we really haven't seen here in the Thunderdome. With Delaware jumping out early, Darius Davidson scores just 11 seconds in to his center ice arena debut for the Thunder. Mark Anthony Simonetta adds his second of the season, and then it was the Tony Kalinin show. Goals number 16, 17, and 18 on the season. First natural hat trick in Delaware Thunder history. And the Thunder go to the locker room with a 5-0 lead in a game that you and I both agree is a must win. It is a must win, Gary. And they came out buzzing. No uh, no pun there. They did against the Battle Creek Rumblebees. You, they knew they had to score early. That's exactly what they did. They got pucks to the front of the net. They went to the front of the net. And Darius Davidson, it's been a show from him as well this evening. It sure has. I mean, that whole line, what have we said all season long, Mikey, even from early on in the season when Ryan Marker was here, one of the more prolific scorers in the league, paired with Brandon Contrato, we were looking for a second line to step up, right? And then the trade of Contrato and the trade of Marker and then we were asking, okay, where's the scoring kind of come from? And Evgeny Demin, Anton Kalinin, and Patrick Tundel kind of, you know, gelled together, and they provided the scoring. Well, then Demin missed some time with injury. Kalinin's away. You add Davidson, Municello steps up. So we've been looking for the opportunity to have two lines that could be scoring lines for this team all year long. And now, at least through this first 20 minutes, it looks like you might have it. Well, as soon as I saw Darius Davidson come back down from Evansville, I knew it was a great thing for the Thunder. You see his size, you see his speed. He's a right-handed shot, too. Delaware doesn't have a lot of right-handed shots up front. Also, he gets to the front of the net. That's one thing on the power play Delaware doesn't do. I know there he's out at the point, but he's a guy who'll crash the front of the net, and he's got Simonetta and Monticello. That first line's very dangerous. Well, and remember, he started on the point on that power play goal, but he set up that play from down below the circle just to the left of Eisenhower, so you make a great point there. We'll see if the Thunder can continue to pour it on. You know, Coach Pence, it's just, it's ironic that we had this conversation just after we finished our pregame interview. He mentioned that, now he, I'm gonna put words in his mouth, sort of. He said that there is a, a lack of stepping on an opponent when they were down. Yes. So missing that killer instinct or unable to, to land that finishing blow, I think he's gonna be very happy with the play of his squad through the first 20 minutes. Well, here's your chance to step on and squander this team. If it's 5 nothing after the second, the game's virtually over. This is a huge period for Delaware. I know everyone's saying, oh, it's 5 nothing. the game's probably over. That's not true. That's not true at all. Not this game's league. far from over. There's 40 minutes left to play. That's a lot of time. Without question. I'll be real interested to see 
how the Thunder approach the next 20 minutes. And we'll take a quick break, thank our sponsors, and be back with period number two. After 20 minutes at Thunderdome, it's the Thunder 5, Battle Creek nothing. You're watching the Federal Hockey League on YouTube with the Delaware Thunder alongside Mikey Basile. I'm Gary Schofield. Delaware Thunder Hockey is brought to you in part by Betsy Ross Pizza, Brimming Horn Meadery, Duck Creek Printing, Gatehouse Media, M&T Bank, Easy Loans Incorporated, The Barn, Harrington Insurance, Big Oyster Brewery, 47 ABC, Delaware Prep Ice Hockey, Bridal Bit Liquors, Charlie's Painting, American Hockey Services, Forever Media, Applebee's Grill and Bar, Robert Webster Cosmetic and Family Dentistry, Delmarva Chiropractic and Wellness Center, First Aid Fabrication, Pizza King, Post Acute Medical, Premier Orthopedic Bone and Joint Care, Holiday Inn Express, The Delaware State Lottery, Planet Fitness, Mission Barbecue, THG Transport Incorporated, The YMCA of Dover, CrossFit Dover, Texas Roadhouse, Urco Ceilings and Interiors, Chick-fil-A, MD Mechanical, Fine Line Website and IT Consulting, Super 8, Alpha Care Medical, and Bay Health. We'll be back with the next period's action coming up. You're watching Delaware Thunder Hockey on YouTube. For Mike Basile, I'm Gary Schofield. We'll be back to the action momentarily.
And we welcome you back into Thunderdome. We're just a couple of minutes away from the face-off of the second period with the Delaware Thunder leading the Battle Creek Rubble Bees five to nothing. I'm Gary Schofield alongside Mike Basile. Let's give you the scoring summary from the first period in which Delaware outshot Battle Creek 15 to nine. Scoring started quickly, just 12 seconds in. Darius Davidson nets his first goal with the Thunder on an assist from Thomas Municello and Mark Anthony Simonetta. Simonetta then netted the second goal less than two minutes later on an assist from Thomas Municello. And then the first natural hat trick in Delaware Thunder history began. 6.05 into the first period, Tony Kalinin from Evgeny Demet and Christers Bormanis. Nearly three minutes later, Kalinin again from Bormanis and Demon. And then finally Kalinin again, this time on the power play from Demon and Charlie Penge Jr. So, three goals for Kalinin, three assists for Demon, a pair of assists each for Thomas Muticello and Christers Bormanis. Goals as well from Darius Davidson, Mark Anthony Simonetta. Mikey, uh, how do you expect the Thunder to come out here in the second period? Well, Gary, I'll tell you how I hope they come out, and I hope it's foot on that gas pedal all the way down and keep pushing. I was interested to see if Joel Eisenhower would still be in net. He is the start in the second period. Like we said, he's a guy who's kept this team in a ton of games, much like Aaron Taylor. So you look now, they definitely need him to come up big. He's got to shut the door at five. And if you're Battle Creek, you're, you've probably preached in the locker room that the first three minutes of this period are paramount. We've got to find the net at least a couple of times in the first 10 minutes to make this game interesting. They definitely need to score early and score often, Gary. I'd say to give yourself a chance in this game, you got to be within three in the third period. First off, it's just a team that struggles to score. You look up and you see five after one, you're probably feeling a little down if you're Battle Creek. Well, the top line back out for the Thunder, Simonetta, Davidson, and Municello. Champlain, Gregorich, and Carey was probably the best line for Battle Creek, which is a bit of a stretch to say that about any of the lines for the Rumblebees in that first period. They'll battle forward around the blue line. Carey's able to settle it down, but his backhand pass comes right to Municello. Plays on side because it was played in by Battle Creek. Carey, though, gets the loose puck at center and brings it the other way. Along the far well, he'll just shovel one on the backhand. Taylor gloves it down. Quick whistle there. As Paisano went to the glass with Carey, and then Gregorich, a couple of words as well. Seems like everybody's okay. Yeah, Battle Creek's not really a team that usually gets into too much stuff after the whistle at all. They're a pretty even keel team here, this Battle Creek Rumblebees team, and they're looking for win number two here tonight, and it's a long road ahead. Bush Anderson shot from the blue line's knocked down. Here comes Simonetta with speed through the neutral zone. Backhand pass just behind Davidson, and Wolf picks it up for Battle Creek coming the other way. Chris crosses with Pfeiffer. Nice poke check there by the captain, Pens, but Pfeiffer gets to the loose puck. Cristal with a shot from the blue line. That's sticked away by Taylor. Went up into the netting, though, and will get a whistle with 19-13 to go. That might be the best offensive pressure Battle Creek's had all night. Yeah, and it starts with Volk, who's been really good tonight, actually. I know it's tough to say that, you know, you had a good player play well in a 5 nothing game, but I think volk has been good. Spent a lot of time out on the ice. He stays out now with the line change. Pfeiffer and Driassi come out as well. I thought he did a really good first period. He played really well in period one. Pfeiffer wins the draw cleanly. Chris Dahl's going to play it around the wall. It's too far for Volk. Kalinin gets to it and hands it off to Demon. Across the blue line, Evgeny steps up, gets it to Kalinin in the slot, but he's marked there by Pfeiffer. Puck's loose in the slot, and Bush Anderson finally is able to play it away for the Rumblebees. Pfeiffer across the blue line. Toe drag and shoots. Taylor makes the save. It's loose behind the net. Christers Bormanis can't come away with it, but Basie will just play along to, to Christofaro, and now Evgeny Demon out the center. Bormanis across the red line. He'll walk it in, drop pass for DeCristofaro. Tried to get a shot on net. Bush Anderson knocked that down. And now Thomas with a steal behind the net brings it back the other way for Battle Creek. He'll spin away from Bormanis. 18.25 to go. Pass too far for Driassi. It's going to go all the way behind Taylor. No icing here, though. To Cristofaro, walls off the Rumblebees player. And now Masters is able to get it back to center. Solis, though, gets to it first. And Battle Creek will look to break out again. Thomas behind the net. Banks it off the wall. Luciani. A little bit behind, but he comes away with it, but then too far for him as well. And Christo is able to play it back to center. Masters hands off to Brendan Young. Young trying to work around Thomas. Side angle shot, and that's a save by Eisenhower, but it's loose behind the net. Young below the goal line, works around Luciani. 
Back to the point to DeCristoforo. Young avoids a big hit. Made a lot of noise, but Thomas took the brunt of it against the wall there. Young tries to walk in front. Good poke check by Eisenhower. Bucks loose behind the net. Three Rumblebees are there, and McNary could not get it out of the way as Brendan Young steals it. And it comes back to McNary as Eisenhower kicks it along. McNary nearly gave it away again, though. Kakis plays it for Solis. Solis finally through the neutral zone. Quick shot, and that's blocker to side by Taylor. Luciani in the corner plays it in front, but Darius Davidson settles it down there for Delaware. Well, it's been the story of one and done for this Battle Creek Rumblebees team. One chance, and that's it. Bad turnover there. Solis plays it into the Delaware zone, and now Carey is down. Solis in front look for, looking for Luciani. Dunford comes away with it. I'm surprised they haven't stopped play yet. Finally, they do. As Shea Carey, the Battle Creek captain, is down, he's got a stick underneath him. I'm not sure if that was his own or if he got caught up with the, one of the Thunder players. It looked like it was the stick of Alex Basie that was in between his legs. I'm not sure where it got caught up. It looked like it was incidental contact as they were both leaving the zone at the same time. I didn't get a good look. It was well behind the play. Yeah, I didn't quite see it either. I just saw the aftermath. Good to see Shea up to his feet. Looks like he just kind of caught that in a sensitive area maybe. Let's hope that's the extent of it, although he is going back to the locker room. He's hunched over in quite a bit of discomfort though. Slams his helmet down. Yeah, I, I wish we got a better look at that. It was behind the play as the puck was coming into Delaware's zone. It appears that Carey's okay as he came off the ice under, uh, without any help, I should say. One of the few pros on this team. It's a very young Battle Creek team, as we talked about earlier in the year. They were kind of put together late in the campaign when the franchise was awarded to Battle Creek. So they kind of threw this roster together last minute, shot from the... Side for Municello there is easily corralled by Eisenhower, and he'll hold on for the faceoff. That's a big save by Eisenhower, and I know it looks simple, but you got Thomas Municello, who's been a top scorer for this team of late, right in the slot area with Simonetta crashing the net. Simonetta with a faceoff win, but Champlain's able to knock that ahead to Keikos. Keikos, though, his pass is stolen by Dunford. Municello nearly stripped by Nicoletti, but Simonetta gets it to Darius Davidson. He works around Strzok. Davidson in front, they score! Municello right on the doorstep from Darius Davidson and it's six nothing. Wow, all you could say, there's only a few words that could describe Darius Davidson's play tonight. It's been phenomenal, great vision, gets pucks to the front. Thomas Municello, that time the recipient of a phenomenal pass. And you said it perfectly there, the vision to find Municello sitting on the doorstep all alone and Thomas doesn't miss for his 11th of the season giving the Thunder a six to nothing lead. And Gary, we talked about it. One team has got to get that foot going on the gas pedal. Delaware does it. They come out early and score in period number two. Pfeiffer wins the faceoff. Cristal tries to clear and he can't. Demon to Bormanis. Bormanis back to the point. Paisano, he'll wind and fire. And Eisenhower makes the save through a screen from Kalinin in a hold for a faceoff. Well, Gary, I get to talk to Coach Penns a little bit during the day today, and he was so excited to see Simonetta in the middle of Davidson and Municello. And, Gary, to say they've disappointed today would be a complete bold lot. Without question, they've been phenomenal. From the opening faceoff, it took just 12 seconds to get the Thunder on the board, and they've played together like they've been doing it for years. Another chance. Kalinin hits the post on a beautiful pass from Christers Bormanis. And now here comes Solis the other way for Battle Creek. He'll bang it off the wall, trying to work around the captain, Charlie Pence. He gets to it, but then he's walled off by Paisano, and Pence is able to play it ahead for Demon. It's off his stick, though. That's a good keep by Luciani. Solis turns and fires. Easy save by Taylor. And then Paisano takes a shot at Solis, who goes down on his keister. <laughs> a bit of a chuckle up here from both of us, Gary. So at least just one hand knocked down by Anthony Paisano. But in Solis' defense, I'd say he could do that to 80% of the league, right? Well, yeah, and I guess I was kind of chuckling because you, you sort of looked at Solis for a minute who contemplated, okay, am I going to get up and cause a stir here or just get up? And I think he made the right decision. Oh, I 100% think he made the right decision. And I, I like the play by him. Get the puck on net because now that's all Battle Creek's got to do. They need a good bounce Ooh. to change the game here. Sorry, Mikey. Big hit from Charlie Penn's on Driasi in the corner. Then Paisano takes down Champlain behind the net. He wanted to call and didn't get it. Paisano will wind it around the wall. He'll get it to Bormanis. Christers pulls up. Hands off to Evgeny Demon right in the slot. Back to Bormanis at the circle. Paisano winds and fires from the point. And that's blocker to side by Eisenhower. Christers Bormanis gets to the rebound. 
He'll play it down low to Demon. Demon and Bormanis play catch. Throws it right behind the net. Demon in front for Colleen, and it was just under his stick. Now we get a delayed penalty call. Looks like we're going to get an interference against Battle Creek. Penn's tried to play it into the corner. Driassi got enough of that, and that's exactly what we're going to get. An interference call as the Thunder will go back to the power play. I was just questioning if they were going to make the call. The hit looked laid on Kalina, but everything they've been letting slide tonight, nothing's gotten out of hand at all thus far. But when you get a 6-0 game and the score starts to become lopsided, that's when you kind of worry about it. And that's kind of what Champlain was saying going to the box. Like, I got pulled down behind the net on the other end. You didn't call that. But either way, back to the power play. Delaware one for one tonight. Demon off the draw. Davidson at the point. To Kalinin. Hat trick in the first period for Anton. Davidson fakes the shot to Pens. Pens right in front. Looking for a deflection for Municello. Eisenhower, I think, got a piece of it. And the Thunder will reset. Davidson throws one in front. That was deflected. Eisenhower didn't see it but got enough of it to send it back to the near wall where Penns plays the rebound. His pass across deflected by Gregorich, winding shot from Davidson, and that's gloved down by Eisenhower for a faceoff with 1.34 to go on the power play. Yeah, it's a really smart play by Darius Davidson. The puck's on edge, and it's all the way at the blue line. You don't want to try and settle it and then fumble, the, and it comes out of the zone or make a pass on a bouncing puck. Just get it going towards the net. He got pretty good lumber on it. Easy save for Eisenhower, probably his easiest of the night. Change for Battle Creek here as they go with Solis and Luciani up front on the kill. Evgeny Demon with another faceoff win. Davidson and Kalina play catch. Back to the point. Pens fakes the shot, plays it to Demon in the circle. Evgeny back up top. They rotate. Pens with a shot. Deflected in front. I believe that was knocked down by Bush. Anderson on the rebound, and Davidson scores! Now, was that an intentional pass from Municello to Davidson? I just all of a sudden, the puck squirted out right to Davidson in the circle. He had a wide open net. Well, it was actually Evgeny Demon who got the pass from Municello. A quick tap right on the tape of Darius Davidson, who's a natural goal scorer. It's seven nothing. Touchdown and the extra point, Gary, which is tough now. It's 33 yards. That's a four point night in his Thunder debut here at the Center Ice Arena for Darius Davidson with a pair of goals and a pair of assists and a goaltending change as Eisenhower will be done for the night. Michael Jans will come in this will be his first action for Battle Creek since being acquired. I believe he came from Carolina about a month or so ago to join this Battle Creek team. It gives us a chance to say we were a little sad. Uh, we were hoping to see Morgan Hudson here with Battle Creek this week. If you remember, he started the year with the Thunder and was traded to Battle Creek uh, about a month or so into the season. But, oh, a big hit from Taylor Cutting on Caicos. I almost think Taylor got the worst of that, and here comes Battle Creek the other way. Side angle shot from... Pfeiffer is stopped by Taylor. But Tom, Thomas gets to the rebound. Pfeiffer up top score! Jordan Pfeiffer, or Jared Pfeiffer, my apologies, with a quick answer for the Rumble Bees. That's Pfeiffer's eighth of the season and beat Taylor over the glove hand from the high slot. Not easy to do. And the Rumble Bees are on the board. Well, it's a simple play. You get the puck to the high slot. Pfeiffer known for his goal scoring on this team for Battle Creek, right over the glove of Aaron Taylor, no mistake. That's the first time we've seen Delaware running around and chasing in their zone, and, and it's no knock on this Thunder team. It's gonna happen once in a while, but right there, it looked a bit sloppy in the defensive zone for Delaware. Off the faceoff, Battle Creek again, Driassi with a quick shot. Taylor makes the save. Municello looks to clear, but can't. Kept in at the blue line, bouncing puck in front. Goes off the glove of Aaron Taylor. Municello can't settle it down, and now all of a sudden, the Rumble Bees making the Thunder look helter-skelter here. Dunford will play it around behind. Finally, Municello will able, is able to get it back to center. Pass eludes the Rumble Creek's defender. Simonetta pass in front to Davidson, and he just missed a wide open net. Here comes Battle Creek to act the other way. Champlain across the red line. He'll backhand it on to Driasi, his long shot. Easy save for Taylor into the corner. Jordan Clark kind of walls off Driasi and plays it back toward the blue line. Strzok tried to keep it in and he did. Got it around Municello and got a shot on net as well. Bouncing puck through the slot. Battle Creek able to keep it in. Strzok with another shot. That was a riser. Went right over the head of Taylor. Snuck back through the slot. Nobody home though for the Rumble Bees and here come the Thunder back the other way. Municello to Simonetta. That's a good back check by Nicoletti for Battle Creek. Champlain corrals. 12.35 to go. 7-1. to one. Municello needs a change. Gary, I think Driassi's played really good. Former Delaware Thunder. I think he's been good tonight. He's doing all the simple things. 
getting pucks to the front, clearing the zone, one effort. I think Triassi's been a top player on this team. Paisano's winding shot from near the red line deflects off the stick of Jans and into the netting, so we'll get a faceoff. Should come just outside of the blue line. That tested Jans a little bit from way out there. It was delayed offside, wouldn't have counted anyway, but I think Jans, that's a welcome to the game if you're Mike Jans. Should warm you up if nothing else. Off the draw, Christos Bormanis walks it in. Holds, Demon, high slot. He's holding back to Bormanis. His shot goes high and over the net. Charlie Pence pinches in and keeps it in at the blue line. And it comes back to Tony Kalina. Kalina across for Bormanis. Bormanis looks to spin away from Bush Anderson. Good work by the Battle Creek defenseman there to wall him off. Kalina comes into the fray as they'll kick it around. Kristal, Kalina though is able to get it to Demon. Pence, his shot's deflected, but Pfeiffer loses his stick in the meantime. Again, Demon's able to play it in deep. Tony Kalinin marked by Kristal, but gets the puck to Christers Bormanis. Bormanis to Pens. Charlie throws one on net, and that's padded away by Jans. I think Charlie was hoping for a deflection, but didn't find one. Pass across the Battle Creek zone, kept in by Bormanis. Ducks under the hit for the most part there from Shea Carey. Good to see him back on the ice. He seems to be okay after leaving in a heap earlier. Fight for the gold score walks in. Quick shot. That's blocker to side by Taylor. Right back into the slot. Gregorich with a shot that gets deflected high. And they blow the whistle. Must have caught a piece of the rafter before getting to the glass. And I think that's what Aaron Taylor's saying. Why'd you blow the whistle? It didn't hit anything, that's for sure. And you heard the whistle kind of stop as the ref kind of knew, oops, maybe that didn't hit anything. But it'll just be a face-off in Delaware ice. Uh, no harm, no foul. We'll see what happens. But those uh, those jerseys for Battle Creek, it's tough to see the numbers on these guys with those black strips running across the black numbers. McCrary, or McNary with a shot from the point. That goes wide. Solis and McIntosh battle for it in the corner. Side angle shot from a tough angle from Solis. That goes wide. McNary in front, backhanded along by Luciani, and it comes to Solis behind the net. He's marked there by McIntosh. Battle Creek certainly has had a jump here in the last few minutes after that fight for goal. Chris DeFaro is able to steal the puck away. It's a little bit of a bump there from Keikos, who gives up a, about a foot to, Chris, to DeCristo. At the blue line, McNary loses. Here comes Alex Basie, one-on-one -on -one with Thomas. He works around, backhand shot, and Jans makes the save. And Basie goes into the back wall. The Luch offensive magician, Alex Basie, with a good move to his backhand. Unfortunately, the puck wouldn't sit for him. You don't expect him to see him on a break like that. Yeah, but he took full advantage of the opportunity. Good play there by Cutter to just shuffle it along, but standing up at the blue line was Strzok to play it back into the Delaware zone where DeCristofaro will regroup. He works around three Rumble Bees. Look at Daniel skate through the neutral zone. He'll line and blast, and that's deflected by Strzok into the corner. Simonetta gets to the loose puck. He works around all the way back to the blue line. Now he'll fire one from deep cutting with a rebound shot. That went off the side of the net. As Battle Creek looks to clear, but Dunford keeps in at the blue line. Back behind, Simonetta and Strzok come together. Mark Anthony came away with the puck, and now Taylor Cutting carries on. In the slot. Shot score! Darius Davidson makes not one, but two hat tricks tonight for the Thunder. In his Thunderdome debut, Darius pots three in the Thunder, up eight to one. That's a goal scorer's goal. The puck's not sitting, two players on your tail and you bury it over the blocker of Michael Jans. What a shot from Darius Davidson, eight one Thunder. Just under the crossbar for Davidson to make it eight to one with 9.45 to go. If you're curious of what's happening in Mentor, they had a delayed start for the icebreakers. Of course, that game has a lot of meaning for Thunder fans that are hoping to see Delaware start a playoff push with a win here tonight. Off the draw, Municello chases. Jans plays it along to Nicoletti. Nicoletti initially couldn't get to it. Now he's pestered by Simonetta, but he's able to get back to the puck. That deflects off Municello. And now Greg Orich, his pass deflected way up into the rafters. That does hit the ceiling and gets a whistle with 9.22 to go. That should bring us to the media timeout. Well, the Thunder Pack are loud. The faithful here are loud. And I hate to say this to Battle Creek fans, but now I believe that's Solios who's out on the concourse trying to walk off an injury. Yeah, he seems to be a bit hobbled. I'm not sure if he took a shot off of the leg. 
looks like he's holding his upper leg here uh, behind the bench here. And Battle Creek, one of the teams just like Delaware, brings a trainer on the road, which is always good. And a couple of the Thunder staff now bringing some ice over that way as well. Well, oh, Gary, eight to one, 9.22 left in the second. Delaware's got eight goals at the, just over the halfway point in this game. It's obvious to say what they've done right, but a couple things that you've seen today from this Thunder team that you've liked to watch. Well, I'll tell you, what has really been fun to watch is the offensive chemistry between these two new lines. The Simonetta davidson Munichello line has been phenomenal, and, I gotta t and it's just fun to watch Evgeny Demin and Anton Kalinin play together. And then when you add Christers Bormanis to the mix, you remember when Watertown was here and Bormanis was playing for them, what a good weekend he had uh, with Sedeco. Yes. Remember when they were here against us? So it's nice to see him back and to just have two lines that are putting together great scoring chances on a consistent basis. That's been the most fun for me. Right, and I'll tell you, if this score holds up, which if you're a Thunder fan, obviously you hope it does, it'll be so nice for this Thunder team to get a win back in front of this home crowd and Go into tomorrow night, Cancer Awareness Night, a huge night here at the Thunderdome with the fans anxious for back-to-back -back wins. Absolutely, which hasn't happened on home ice at all this season. Uh, do have a score for you now from Mentor. They finally got underway. There was a low spot in the ice, which caused the start delay there. Port Huron scores just 352 in, so it's one to nothing Prowlers, which helps the Thunder, of course, uh, mentor the team that Delaware is chasing. Demon. High slot, Kalinin shot, score! Anton Kalinin, first four goal game in Delaware Thunder history. 19 on the year now for Tony, and the route is on, 8.50 to go. Do you keep wearing number 90 if you're Anton Kalinin? Evgeny Demin, another beautiful feed, the playmaker on the line, the center. He does it all, Evgeny Demin, it's 9-1 Thunder. And it's just good to see, uh, Solis is back on the ice, Davros Solis. So whatever was bothering him seems to be okay. 8.50 to go. Off the draw. Played back into the Delaware zone. Basie's able to clear it back to center. Under the stick of Solis. But Luciani gets to it. He'll wind and fire one wide. Keikos can't corral the rebound. And here comes Brennan Young with McIntosh. Two on two. Back to Brennan Young in the high slot. Now in the circle. Side angle shot high and wide. To Cristofaro will keep it into the blue line. He'll wind and fire. That goes wide of Jans as well. So Lise gets to it. Or I'm sorry, that's Luciani who plays it through center and all the way down. They wave off the icing though as to Cristofaro gets to it first. 8-12 to go. 9-1 to one, Delaware. Cristo on the tape for Brennan Young. Brenner across the blue line. Tried to work around Bush Anderson. Good poke check there by the Battle Creek defenseman, but Eric Masters gets to the loose puck. He turns around Solis. The puck squirts loose to Keikos, who plays it back to center. But Basie just hands it on to Daniel DeCristofaro. He'll backpedal here as we're under eight minutes to go in the second period. Cristofaro walks through the neutral zone again. Hands it off to Brennan Young. Keikos strips him, but only plays it into the corner where it gets right back to DeCristofaro. Daniel to Masters. Masters works around and behind, throws one in front. Was looking for Brennan Young. I don't think Brennan was ready for the pass. And it came to Thomas. Hit along the wall there by DeCristofaro. He gets a tap from Wolf, who didn't like the hit. Thought he came up high a bit there. Thomas stripped from behind by Basie. Gets it to Municello. And Wolf comes up with a cross check into the shoulders of Municello. But gets the puck away to Keikos with a quick shot. Taylor makes the pad save. But Wolf gets to the rebound. Back up top to Thomas. He'll fire one. Bouncing puck from the blue line goes wide. Sign angle shot on the rebound by Wolf is held by Taylor with seven minutes to go. And Wolf again, at right spot, right time, puck bounces off the boards. He's got some time in front. I'd like to see the cross ice pass there as to Cristofaro looked to be turned around. Seven minutes left in the second period. Delaware is looking next for goal number 10. Off the draw here, it'll be Champlain going up against Simonetta as Basie has to come off. As the Thunder had six men on the ice. Simonetta wins the draw. Dunford battles behind the net with Champlain and is able to get it to Simonetta. Mark Anthony through the neutral zone with Darius Davidson. Davidson, side angle shots blocked. Behind the net, Simonetta gets to it. Back in the circle, Municello with a wind and fire, and that goes wide. Jordan Clark walks in from the blue line. He'll play it in deep. Simonetta, nice little play to himself off the wall, tries to spin away from a hit, throws it in front, and it was loose. 
And now we're going to get a whistle. Battle Creek's going to get called for a slash here. Looks like Wolf is going to go off, and the Thunder will go back to the power play where they're a perfect two for two so far tonight. No argument from Wolf there, who looks frustrated. He put a whack onto the Cristofaro after, which looked like a pretty clean hit to me. And then frustration obviously boiling over a bit for this Rumblebees team. Well, and it's understood. I mean, such a difficult position to be in. You're down nine to one, but as some fans will say, we'll do something to stop it. And as you mentioned, the Thunder have not gone into double digits at all this year. It'll be another first. Paisano in front, he gets a push from Alexander Strock. Anthony kind of looks over like, really? And you hear the Battle Creek bench scream, and that's a slash then too. As obviously frustration on, on that side, and understandable, it's right. been a long season for this Battle Creek team, and they haven't played well tonight. Municello with a great keep at the blue line. Demon, high slot shot, and that goes high over Jans and over the net. Kalinin trying to settle the puck down, gets it to Penns at the point. Charlie just throws one towards the net. It goes wide, but Evgeny Demon's able to get to it and settle it down. Paisano plays it along to Kalinin. Kalinin, though, loses as Pfeiffer, the goal scorer for Battle Creek, carries it through the neutral zone and then just backhands it into the Delaware zone, down to 125 to go on the power play. Well, Gary, you said it. The power play is two for two, and you saw early why. They freed up Demon right in the high slot. Unfortunately, he went high. Not a good breakout here for Delaware. No, there's a giveaway. Solis will walk it in, gets around Pens, walks right out in front. His shot is stopped by Taylor, and it goes behind. And I think they're going to get Pens for a penalty here. Yep, a trip. So that'll negate the power play. We'll play four on four for a minute nine, and then an abbreviated man advantage for the Rumblebees. Yeah, the two players collided. Paisano gives a look to Strack as he goes by the bench. Would not want to be Strack after you get that look, but uh, looked like uh, P Penn's just got turned around a bit there, and so Leo threw the penalty. But, you know, that's a microcosm of what's been some of the struggles for the Thunder specialty teams of late is inopportune giveaways that lead to chances shorthanded for the opponent. Well, Gary, it was all right there. Like you said, it was Kalinin who tried to get it out to the point, fanned on his path. Solios had an easy out, and then next thing you know, Charlie Pence has to take a penalty to keep the puck out of the net. Cristal works around Simonetta, fires one from just outside of the circle. Taylor makes the save, and he'll cover it up with 5.26 to go. Four on four for a bit here, 54 seconds, and then it'll be an abbreviated power play for this Battle Creek Rumblebees team. We have yet to see on the power play tonight. I'd be interested to see who they use on that power play unit tonight. Off the draw, Bush Anderson with a shot from the point. That's blocker to side by Taylor. Rebound attempt from Luciani goes wide. Back to the blue line, Cristal. He'll fire one. That gets deflected by Luciani. That goes wide of the net. So he gets to it first. Luciani winds around. Pass across to Cristal. Backhands one in front. To Cristofaro intercepts that, though, and keeps it away from the pinching Bush Anderson, and the Thunder will come back the other way. That Five. was that wasn't a power play despite popular belief there, Gary, for Battle Creek. That was four on four. They did a great job of zone time and a great job circulating the puck. Cristofaro back to Basie at the point here. Mark Anthony Simonetta, side angle shot. That's saved by Jans. Bush Anderson, he gets tripped up by Simonetta, but play continues. He, Luciani gets a shoulder from Mark Anthony. Puck comes loose, and now Darius Davidson works it away from Champlain. Good recovery, though, by the Battle Creek forward to play it along. But Basie pinching from the blue line. Bush Anderson's able to get it out to center. Now we're on to the power play for Battle Creek, although just for 40 seconds. And DeCristofaro has possession to start the man advantage. But then he nearly gives it away. But Basie's able to play it along. Back to center. Nearly a break for Simonetta. But the pass from Municello is in his skates. Mark Anthony does get to the puck first, though. Behind the net, he's walled off by Cristal as well as Shea Carey. And here comes Battle Creek the other way. 20 seconds left on this man advantage time. Solis loses the puck and his stick, and now Dunford's gonna get called for a slash. That's back-to-back -back power plays that is drawn by Solis. It's a good play by him. He works on the defenseman smartly, comes right at him, then tries to inside out, and all you could do is take a penalty once he gets behind you, but a bit of a soft call in my mind there. Five on three for 14 seconds. After the slashing call against Dunford, 3.55 to go in the second period. 9-1 to one Delaware. A little chance for Battle Creek if they can pot one quickly here. Maybe get another. It's all about the face-off here, Gary. McIntosh 
Wins it. Yes, he does, and Basie's able to play it around, but didn't get a whole lot on it. So it'll come back to Nicoletti. He'll hold at the point. Across for Pfeiffer, the goal scorer tonight. Back down low, Solis at the side of the circle. Pfeiffer, high slot shot goes very high. And over the glass and into the netting. And that does it for the five on three. So it'll be a five on four for a minute 44. Every once in a while, you forget your hockey stick, you bring your pitching wedge here, Gary. And that's exactly what happens. Face off to the left of Aaron Taylor. McIntosh, Brennan Young, Basie, Paisano out for the Thunder. Pfeiffer on the draw. Grigorich, Carey, Solis, Nicoletti. That's the power play unit for Battle Creek. At the blue line, Pfeiffer's able to knife it over to Nicoletti. He walks in and fires, and Aaron Taylor makes the save. It holds for no rebound. We'll get another faceoff. And Paisano gives a little bit of a shot to Grigorich in front. He's certainly making his presence known, the assistant captain is. Yes, yes, he got that A on his jersey uh, for this matchup this evening here. It's his first time this season donning the A, and I know he's pretty proud to wear that for this Thunder team. The captains now, Alex Basie, Charlie Penns, and Tony Paisano, who finishes another good check. Battle for the puck comes back to the blue line, Solis. Side angle shot from Pfeiffer, and that went wide and behind the net. Right back to the point, though. Nicoletti resets. Solis holds there, tried to spin away from McIntosh, did a nice job just to keep it in the zone. Now he's got Grigorich set up, point blank shot and a glove save from Aaron Taylor. 106 left on the power play. Well, you can't leave that much time and space for Grigorich. He's a real good goal scorer. Unfortunately for him that time, Aaron Taylor was a step better. Line change now for the Rumble Bees as they'll go with Champlain and Wolf. Kristal, Bush Anderson. And it looks like Luciani on the right wing. Face off win for Champlain back to Bush Anderson. Luciani walks into the circle, fires one, and that goes wide. I don't think Aaron got any of that. It comes all the way back to center where Bush Anderson has to settle it down. 51 seconds left on the power play. Champlain will get it into the offensive zone for Battle Creek. He'll hold at the circle. Not great spacing there, but now the Battle Creek gets set up. Luciani. Play a little cycle game with Champlain. Winds and fires from the point, Bush Anderson. Not sure if Penns or Wolf deflected that one, but it goes back to center. Now we get a whistle. And there's gonna be a faceoff that's gonna come back outside of the blue line. 2.27 to go in the period, and the official comes over and says you can't be leaning over the bench like that if you're the Rumble Bees, because you slow down play for no reason. Absolutely, that's why the faceoff comes outside of the blue line. Champlain and Davidson on the draw. Davidson got enough of it to get it to Jordan Clark, who's able to play it into the Battle Creek zone. Cristal's pass on the tape of Luciani. Luciani to Champlain as the Rumble Bees will look to set things up here. 20 seconds of power play time left. Champlain, shot from the high slot, he scores! There was a screen in front. I don't think Luciani got a piece of that, but might have blocked the eyesight enough of Aaron Taylor to give John Champlain room to sneak that into the corner that's twice now Taylor's been beat both high glove side as Battle Creek makes it a 9-2 game on Champlain's third goal of the year. Looked like it was friendly fire there, Gary. Jordan Clark, I think, set up the unintentional screen there, and the puck goes over the glove of Aaron Taylor. We talked about how good his glove hand is. There's no way Aaron Taylor saw that. 2.09 to go off the draw. Demon wins it. Back to five aside here. Pucks in the skates of Paisano. He's able to play to head to Christers Bormanis. His cross-ice pass for Kalinin was deflected. Clearing attempt by Jans, kept in by Demon. Right in front, Bormanis. It escapes to Kalinin, but he gets it to the forehand. And he scores! Make it five for Kalinin. And double digits for the Thunder as it's now 10-2 Delaware. Wow, Anton Kalinin. Have a game to remember here tonight. Gary, I gotta ask you, do you think he'll wanna wear 90 every night now? Without question, you know, it's funny. He mentioned that to us. Tom Schultz, our PA announcer, and I were standing outside of the locker room uh, awaiting Coach Charlie Pence to do our pregame interview. And Anton walked by and we said hello because we hadn't seen him because the last home stand, obviously, he wasn't here. So he just kind of subtly said as he walked back in the locker room, I'm wearing 90 tonight. So it obviously has some kind of meaning for him. I'd love to get the backstory on that, but it has worked wonders for his scoring game. He came into the night with 15 goals, he's now got 20, and the Thunder have an eight goal advantage with 1.28 to go. Gary's looking for the Ovech trick now. 
<laughs> the Ovechstrick, I like that. We'll see if he can make that happen. Icing here against the Thunder as he's back out on the ice looking for that Ovech trick. Well, Delaware puts up a 10 spot in the second period. And Delaware is a team, like we said, Gary, they've struggled to score. But this is huge for this team. There's some confidence. Darius Davidson's playing well. Thomas Municello, Mark Simonetta, and the second line. You got your full European line, Bormanis, Demon, and Kalinin. That has been phenomenal. I'll tell you, I think I've been... As impressed as I've been with Davidson and the way he has worked with Simonetta and Municello, I think I've been more impressed with this line. Kalinin nearly got it in the slot, but it was caught in his skates. Now he gets it back to Bormanis. Bormanis, though, loses it to Bush Anderson, who plays it back to center. Not to diminish what the top line has done, but Bormanis and Kalinin and Demon, I think they, from what we've seen tonight, and again, you have to take the opponent into account. I get it. Um, but they have a chance to be special. Puck comes free out to the neutral zone. Jared Pfeiffer, who has a goal tonight for Battle Creek. He goes down, battling with McIntosh, but is able to get it back to center. Evan plays it across. It's under the stick of Eric Masters. Here comes Grigorich the other way. He couldn't get it around the Delaware defender. And now Jared Pfeiffer will just backhand it off the wall. He and Masters play a bit of catch here just in front of the scorer's table. Taylor Cutting fumbles the puck, clearing attempt into the belly of Eric Masters. He turns and fires his shot. It's knocked down by Cristal and then covered up by Jans. Finally, we get the whistle with 18.5 to go. Yeah, it looked like the ref thought the puck was still caught up in the defenseman on the way through Crystal, but it bounced free and Jans covered. So Jans in his first playing time for the Battle Creek Rumblebees struggled a bit in this period, but Gary again seems like he's been left out to dry quite a bit. Absolutely. Off the draw, Battle Creek gets a win. Strockel just banging along the wall, but Charlie Pence keeps it in. A little too far for Masters. Ten seconds to go in the period. And now here comes Solis the other. I'm sorry, that's Nicoletti the other way for Battle Creek. Cross the blue line. Three seconds. Out. Oh, a huge hit. Charlie Pence using the hip to perfection to put Nicoletti on his seat. He said, hey, go grab a pina colada with that hit as it's 10-2 Delaware at the end of two. Charlie Penn's having one of his best games of the season in my eyes, 10 to two. Delaware up on the Battle Creek Rumblebees and physically two winning the battle tonight. Without question, and again, a Rumblebees team that comes in riding a 17 game losing streak. They're one in 40 on the season. We talked about not being overconfident coming into this game during the pregame, Mikey. I haven't gotten a sense of any of that. This team looked ready and focused from the opening puck drop and they've just kept that pressure on, and their two lines have just continued to generate chances, and when they have those opportunities to put one in the net, they're not missing. No, Gary, and usually we've seen this team have a couple of good scoring chances, and every once in a while they push it wide. It's this or it's that. Tonight, everything's been going the way of the Delaware Thunder. Without question, we'll get you a scoring summary here for that second period where the Thunder were able to put up five more goals, but also Battle Creek put a couple between the pipes as well. And this is gonna be a night where a lot of Thunder scoring records are going to fall. Anton Kalinin has already done that with his five goal night tonight. That's the most in one game by any Delaware Thunder. The 10 goals as well is a Thunder record. So anything more that they put in the net will just continue to add to that. They outshoot the Battle Creek Rumble Bees again in that second period, a little closer this time around 15 to 13. So second period scoring looked like this, 329 in. Thomas Municello from Darius Davidson and Mark Anthony Simonetta. Less than two minutes later, Darius Davidson scored from Demon and Municello. Jarrett Pfeiffer, just 27 seconds later, got Battle Creek on the board. But then four minutes later, Darius Davidson scored his hat trick on an assist from Taylor Cutting. Mark Anthony Simonetta with the helper as well. Not even a minute later, Anton Kalinin scored his fourth of the night from Bormanis and Demon. And then also at even strength, I'm sorry, this time on the power play for Battle Creek, John Champlain scored from Sebastian Cristal and Marco Luciani. That made it 9-2. to two. And then just 15 seconds later, Anton Kalinin with his fifth of the night from Evgeny Demon and Christers Bormanis. A ton of assists tonight for Bormanis and Mark Anthony Simonetta. And Evgeny Demon. We'll count all those up. We'll give you a full scoring report as we get you set for period number three. We'll take a moment to thank our fine sponsors. And then when we come back, the final 20 minutes of a game that should be in hand 
with the score, the Delaware Thunder 10, the Battle Creek Rumblebees 2. We'll be back with third period action next here on YouTube. Delaware Thunder Hockey is brought to you in part by Betsy Ross Pizza, Brimming Horn Meadery, Duck Creek Printing, Gatehouse Media, M&T Bank, Easy Loans Incorporated, The Barn, Harrington Insurance, Big Oyster Brewery, 47 ABC, Delaware Prep Ice Hockey, Bridal Bit Liquors, Charlie's Painting, American Hockey Services, Forever Media, Applebee's Grill and Bar, Robert Webster Cosmetic and Family Dentistry, Delmarva Chiropractic and Wellness Center, First Aid Fabrication, Pizza King, Post Acute Medical, Premier Orthopedic Bone and Joint Care, Holiday Inn Express, The Delaware State Lottery, Planet Fitness, Mission Barbecue, THG Transport Incorporated, The YMCA of Dover, CrossFit Dover, Texas Roadhouse, Urco Ceilings and Interiors, Chick-fil-A, MD Mechanical, Fine Line Website and IT Consulting, Super 8, Alpha Care Medical, and Bay Health. We'll be back with the next period's action coming up. You're watching Delaware Thunder Hockey on YouTube. For Mike Basile, I'm Gary Schofield. We'll be back to the action momentarily.
And we welcome you back to Thunderdome. We are just, well, less than two minutes away from the face-off to start period number three, where the Delaware Thunder will look to cap off uh, an impressive win, at least through the first 40 minutes as they lead Battle Creek 10-2. Mikey Basile alongside Gary Schofield. And uh, I also need to apologize to Alexander Gregorich. If his mom is listening, I was mispronouncing his name. I appreciate the help with that in the comments on our YouTube thread. I thank you. I, last thing I want to do is get guys' names wrong. But, Mikey, what do you not want to see from the Delaware Thunder here in the third period? I don't think you want to see a sit-back. It's 10-2. to two. You play this team back-to-back -back nights, uh, Saturday and Sunday. You don't want to roll over, sit, relax, let them put pressure on. You want Aaron Taylor to be confident going into tomorrow night. You want the offense to stay buzzing until tomorrow night. You want the defense to stay physical. How good has Charlie Penn's been tonight? Been phenomenal. Six Delaware Thunder players have scored four or more points tonight. Mark Anthony Simonetta, Thomas Municello, each with a goal and three assists. Christers Bormanis with four helpers. Darius Davidson with three goals and an assist. Anton Kalinin, five goals. And Evgeny Demin, six assists. That's a Delaware Thunder single game record. The Kalinin five goal night a, th a single game record for the Thunder as well. Not uh, to mention the 10 goals, a season high for Delaware, first time in franchise history. You know what I want to see from Aaron Taylor? You mentioned his confidence going into tomorrow night. I want to see a shutdown period from AT if he gets the help that he needs in front of him. We're underway in the third period. Battle Creek controls the opening faceoff, but then a long outlet pass goes way too far, and it becomes an icing. Wolf almost won the race with Paisano, but didn't realize that Penns had already beaten him at the other hash. Yeah, Wolf was looking around, uh, what, what happened, what happened? And then Penns on the other side of the ice there. 11 seconds into the third period. Gary, each period we'd stopped at the 11 second mark. First period we had the goal, second period we had a chip in that was covered by Aaron Taylor. Third period, the icing. Pretty Interesting, weird. that is weird. Maybe you should play 11 on your way home tonight Ooh. on the roulette table. I like the way you think. I'm just saying. That's one of the numbers I play regularly when I'm spinning the wheel at Harrington Raceway and Casino, which is right next to the Thunderdome. Nicoletti, fans on a shot. Simonetta looking to break out. Nearly a three-on-one for Delaware if they hurry. Mark Anthony Simonetta. That's a nice play by Nicoletti to get back and at least get a piece of that shot to send it wide. Champlain has his pocket picked from behind by Simonetta, but Caicos takes it away for Battle Creek, although Darius Davidson... Will pick his pocket from behind and come back the other way. Davidson tries to walk through the Battle Creek defenseman. That's Nicoletti, and he can't do it. Caicos across the blue line. He'll wind and fire his shot deflected by DeCristofaro. Basie overskates. And that comes to Nicoletti. He throws one in front looking for Solis, but it was in his skates. And now Simonetta calmly holds the puck, looking to break out. Gets it to Municello, back to Basie. And now Simonetta. He'll just chip it into the Battle Creek zone, but from the wrong side of the red line, and that becomes an icing. Oh, usually you have that inch or two leeway. It looks mighty close from up here, but they blow it down for an icing, and Simonetta and Davidson can't get off the ice. Yeah, they've been out there a long time. You mentioned the whistle at 1949. They've been out there most of this third period. So the faceoff will come to the left of Taylor. As Mike mentioned, these two teams will go back at it tomorrow night, 7 o'clock. Cancer Awareness Night. Right off the draw in front, Solis with a shot. Backhander is saved by Taylor. That's too good of a chance to give up on the draw. Simonetta brings it back the other way. De Cristofaro in the circle. Works around the defense, but comes in front and a shot saved by Jans. And Cristal comes away with it in the corner. Keeping my eye on Aaron Taylor. Very slow to get up at the other end. Hopefully he's okay. He looks a little slow in the crease now. We'll see. Pass intercepted by Demon. Tried to play it ahead to Bormanis. It comes back to him. But now his pass is intercepted by Luciani. Luciani will circle back. Cristal now. 18 to go in the third period. Long outlet pass. Gregorich backhands it. But Basie steals. His pass for Kalinin is a little too far in front. And here comes Thomas back the other way for Battle Creek. Long shot. That's padded aside by Taylor. Christers Bormanis will kick it back to DeCristofaro. Has to spin away from Sean Carey, the captain. And now Kalina, the five goal scorer tonight, walks it into the slot. Good defense there by Battle Creek. Gregorich comes away with it. Trying to spin away from Devin. Gets it around Kalina and at least to center. 
at the red line. Carey spins it across. Bush Anderson, he'll whack it in from just outside of the blue line. Nearly surprised Aaron Taylor, but it went wide. Dunford goes to the wall with Carey. Back to the point, Nicoletti. He steps around Demon and around Bormanis. Down below the goal line, throws it in front. Carey wasn't ready for it. Well, it had a prime chance right there on the doorstep. Instead, Demon comes back the other way. Kalina walks into the slot looking for six. And that's poked away by Jans. Pfeiffer now comes back the other way for Battle Creek. He scored a goal earlier tonight, got Battle Creek on the board. Couldn't get through Dunford. Backhands one into the corner. Thomas works with McIntosh to try to get through Brennan Young. Evan comes away with the puck though. He'll play it along to Brian Dunford. Dunford to Masters. Masters with a quick shot. That was deflected though. Goes well wide. Durasi or Driasi tried to come back the other way for Battle Creek. Lost the puck though and it comes back to the captain Charlie Pence. Delaware trying to get a little too cute in the offensive zone for me here. I want to get shots on net and a lot of them. As I know they're up 10 to 2 but the drop pass as puck comes out the other way a lot quicker. Obviously Battle Creek looking for some goals here and if you're the Thunder you don't want that. Brennan Young comes back the other way. Walks through two Battle Creek defenders and plays it into the corner where Masters keeps it going. He avoids the hit for the most part there from Champlain. Puck comes out in front. Now in the circle, McIntosh pens with a drive. Saved by Jans, came loose in front. Champlain tried to clear. Shot again for the point. Paisano is stopped by Jans. McIntosh couldn't bang home the rebound. And now it's behind the net. Now I think they're going to get a penalty here. I think on, is it going to be on Champlain? or McIntosh. McIntosh is going to get the initial hold and then the headbutt from Champlain is going to get him. And here's big Tony Paisano in the way. Actually, that's Wolf. My bad. You mentioned how sometimes it's tough to see the numbers with the way these uniforms are. And I wonder if Wolf's going to get thrown out of the game for the headbutt. It wasn't a vicious one at all, but it was a, a shot to the head of McIntosh. Yeah, vicious or not, it's just not a play you need to see. And now the captain, Shea Carey, is trying to get an explanation here. And he just kind of looks to the rafters with this perplexed look. You know, we were talking with Adam Steele, the head coach of the Rumblebees before the game. There goes Volf. So he has been ejected. So he's going to get probably two minutes and then the game misconduct. So more than likely, we're going to play four on four here. At least for two minutes, I would think. I'm not sure what the penalty will be on Wolf. I know it's a game misconduct. It'll definitely be evened out the, the penalty. It was gonna be a hold on McIntosh behind the net, just a simple two minutes. I think Wolf then got the two minutes for the headbutt, but it looks like the only penalty on the board is gonna be McIntosh's. Are they just gonna give him the misconduct and not call a penalty? I, no. I don't understand why. No. Delaware's got four on the ice. It looks like the faceoff staying deep in Rumbleby ice. It looks like Battle Creek's only got four also, so they might have just not posted it on the board yet. But the difficult thing if you're a Rumblebees fan is that means Volf will miss tomorrow night. Because you know with every game misconduct, there's a, at least a minimum one game suspension. As a result, that's why they're without their leading scorer tonight, Ryan Alves, who got ejected from the game Wednesday night in Port Huron. So we are gonna play four on four, even though that other, there now it's up on the board. Oh, they gave him a major. A five minute major to Wolf. So it'll be four on four for two minutes and then a major power play for three minutes for the Thunder. So this could get real ugly before it's all said and done. But we gotta get through the first two minutes first, four on four. Battle Creek looking to put the pressure on. Darius Davidson working over Gregorich in the corner. Comes back to Kristall at the point. He tries to dump it deep. Davidson gives him an elbow into the Delaware bench. Gregorich through the slot. Right on the tape, shot from Champlain is stopped. That's Thomas, actually, who took the shot there. Taylor with a good save. But it came back to Thomas, chips it in front. And then a weak backhand from Champlain as Taylor covers up. 15.06 to go, 122 left on the four on four. Referee pats his chest, says that's on me as Aaron Taylor wanted to keep the clock moving here. Four on four, you don't want to face off in Delaware ice. Well, that's a good play by Davidson at the point. Throw the body around. I love the way he plays, and I know Coach Charlie Pence will be very satisfied with the new addition to the lineup tonight. Driasi out with Pfeiffer for Battle Creek, but Demon wins the draw. Dunford will carry it out all the way through center now with Municello. He pulls up and waits. Now just throw it behind. Municello went down. Demon will get to the puck. 
Back to the blue line here, Jordan Clark fumbles it. Got it through the legs of Driasi though to avoid the break. Battle Creek still brings it the other way. Drop pass from Pfeiffer. Driasi, nice move to get around Clark. His shot's deflected wide by Aaron Taylor into the corner where Evgeny Demon picks it up for Delaware. 50 seconds left on the four on four. Looked like Driasi thought he broke his stick. I really liked his game tonight. I liked it in Carolina too when he was with the Thunder when they played down south. I think Driasi's a goal scorer. It's just gonna take him a little while in this league. He's very young. First game with the Battle Creek Rumblebees tonight as well. And you're right, he's played well. Munichello loses the puck as Bush Henderson is able to poke it along. Outlet pass from Nicoletti right on the tape of Pfeiffer. Pfeiffer across the blue line. He'll crisscross with Driasi. Takes a big hit from Penns, and then Driasi with the shot. His blocker to side by Taylor, and they're going to get Penns for interference on that hit. So, oh, they're going to call a trip? That's a good old-fashioned hip check right there. I don't know how you call that a trip. That is an absolutely clean check. But what that will do is it'll, again, it'll limit the amount of major penalty time for Delaware because Battle Creek's only going to get 15 seconds of four on three power play time. Then we'll play four on four for an additional minute 45. That'll leave the Thunder with about a minute and a half of that major power play. Tripping. I don't like that call at all. DeCristofaro will spin it back. And But again, as we were talking uh, with Coach Adam Steo, you know, both teams feel like they've been on the short end of officiating all throughout the season. So that's, un you know, it's understandable to feel that way at times, but that definitely wasn't a trip. That was a good hockey play. Alex Basie turns back. Davidson tried to get it to Kalina in the slot, but it was in his skates. Champlain's able to play it along. Back behind, Luciani over skates, but it comes to Cristal. Back to Luciani. Now it's Solis. 13 20 to go. 120. A four on four time. Solis gets around Davidson. Tries to walk through to Cristofaro, but he just couldn't hold the puck. And now Basie plays it along the wall. Darius Davidson will pick it up there. He'll hold. Minute five left at four on four time. As Davidson comes through the neutral zone. Quick change for Battle Creek. Good poke check there by Solis, but Davidson gets back to the puck in the corner. Tries to spin away from Thomas. Is able to hold on momentarily. But now off the wall, Solis comes away with it. But now he gets bodied by Davidson. But is able to get back to the puck. He outworks Kalinin for it. And now Thomas will carry into the Delaware zone. Thomas around Basie, but that puck goes wide. Thomas chips it in front. It's loose. Basie plays it to the wall. Thomas keeps it in behind for Solis. He'll look to avoid the hit from Basie. Now he goes down, and Basie's going to go off for a penalty here. Once the Thunder touch up the puck. So they're actually not going to get any time on that major power play as the shot from the point by Thomas is corralled by Aaron Taylor. And Basie's going to go to the box probably for a trip. I believe they got him a for hold. a hold, Basie there. And it's Solis again drawing the power play. Basie doesn't say anything. He just looks away from the official. He's unhappy, obviously, Alex Basie. He and Charlie get a bit of a chuckle in the penalty box over that. So 24 seconds of four on three time. And then Charlie Penns will come out of the box. We'll play four on four for another minute 14. So again, even though they got a major penalty on Wolf there, no power play time as a result for the Thunder due to the two minor penalties that were infracted during that stretch of time. Champlain up top for Battle Creek. Trying to get it across for Thomas. Pass was behind. Dunford's able to clear it back to center. Charlie Penns out of the box, so we're back to four on four. In a minute 10, the Rumblebees will have 22 seconds of power play time. The four on three was very short lived for Battle Creek. No shots on goal. Good sticks by the Thunder. Well, that's the thing. Battle Creek's had two very short power plays in the last four minutes. So for a team that's already struggled with the man advantage, only 10%. You don't need those counting against your stance either. Right, that, that's just killer for a team when you have very minimal time on the power play. And Gary, he'll have another only 21 seconds after the five minute major and those count against you. Pass to Driasi, kicks it to the forehand, walks across the blue line. Shot off the pad of Taylor. Would have gone wide, I think, but Aaron plays it into the corner. Jordan Clark tries to get out of the zone. Cristaldo keeps it in. Back behind, Jordan Clark gets to it again after Cristal's shot was blocked by Municello. Thomas will walk it out of the Delaware zone with Simonetta. Nice move through the legs of Pfeiffer, but then his shot was deflected by Bush Anderson. Think it caught a piece of the netting there. 
That's why we get a whistle. 10 seconds to go on four on four time. 10.54 left here in the third period. 10 to two Delaware. And Carey now on the concourse nursing that injury still. I'm not sure if he caught something else, but I remember in that second period, Basie's stick was caught in him. And he appears to be still lower body, a bit gimpy over there behind the bench. Demon wins the draw. Kalinin back to DeCristofaro. Plays it back to Kalinin. What did you call it, the Ovech trick Kalinin's Ovech looking trick. for tonight? Walks through the circle, gets it to Evgeny Demon. His shot's blocked, though, by Bush Anderson. Champlain pays it ahead to Luciani. Luciani's pass to Solis. Top of the circle, holds. Throws one in front, was looking for a deflection from Champlain, but it goes wide. And then that puck goes into the Thunder bench, nearly decapitating Sebastian Damasa Carlson on the bench. Yeah, Seabass, they call him here. Nearly got into the action tonight, not the way he wanted to. 30 seconds till we can qualify for the media time out here. 10 to two, we want to remind you tomorrow night, these two teams right back in action and three more times in a row after that as well. Five big games for the Delaware Thunder and it ends that sixth game with a meeting of the minds with the Mentor Icebreakers, which will go down as to this point, the biggest game of the season. Strzok's shot from the point was deflected wide. Solis gets to the puck, works around Simonetta. Back to the point, Nicoletti. Solis will play it in deeper. Champlain's gonna get to it in the corner. Spins away from McIntosh, but Evan comes away with the puck. Pens tried to clear it out to Taylor Cutting. Taylor wins the race though with Strzok, and that negates the icing. Good work there by Cutter. And now he spins away from a defenseman, but loses the puck in his skates. And Battle Creek comes back the other way. Luciani through the neutral zone, across the blue line. Plays it in deep, but Paisano marks Thomas there. I'm sorry, that's Pfeiffer. Good keep at the blue line, and then a big booming hit from Paisano. And now we're going to get another penalty. And now another penalty. So Battle Creek's going to go to a five on three. I'm not sure what they're going to call Paisano for there. Nicoletti's playing the puck. He didn't know that McIntosh is down below his feet. Paisano and Cutting are both gonna go. I knew it was the two. I didn't know the second guilty party. Not sure what Paisano's going for. I'm not sure either. I, they're calling him for elbowing. Well, when you have a six inch height advantage over somebody, I get it, you gotta be mindful. Oh no, I'm sorry. Paisano charging, Cutting elbowing. So it should be a five on three. Max got to come off here. Somebody's got to come off. And nobody's coming off still. <laughs> and now McIntosh Finally, yeah. will. <laughs> I was going to say. So Demon out with Dunford and Basie. Battle Creek wins the draw. Bush Anderson, one timer from Kristall. Saved by Taylor. I honestly know I lost the puck in the pile. I think the referees did too. Because all of a sudden it was loose here in the corner. Jumped up out of play, hit that netting and bounced back in. It looked like it ramped off the stick of Brian Dunford. And the charge on Paisano is the call that, that you question a bit. Yeah. I don't like that one. Champlain off the draw, won it momentarily. Gregorich plays it into the corner. Shea Carey back to the blue line. Kristal walks it to the circle. One time attempt from Bush Anderson, and he fans on it. But the puck comes back to Champlain in the circle. Cross ice pass, good job by Bush Anderson to knock that down. Now Champlain, he walks in, fires a shot. Got a deflection from Carey, but Aaron Taylor is able to hold on. And we'll get a face off with 134 left on the five on three. Aaron Taylor's been quietly good tonight. I know when you're up five nothing after one, you don't pay too much attention to the goaltending on the team that's up big. But I think Taylor's played quite a game and you kind of see how much this team misses their top scorer, Ryan Alvis. Absolutely, he'll be back tomorrow night. Suspended for this evening's game much like Wolf will likely be suspended for tomorrow. Shot by Champlain is blocked by Dunford, but Gregorich gets to the puck. He'll play it across, Bush Anderson top of the circle. One time attempt, Cristal is shot and that goes wide. Pretty sure Taylor got a piece of that. Battle Creek gets back to it. Gregorich now, his shot, another block for Dunford. Will it get out of the zone? And it does. Nearly halfway through the five on three. Bush Anderson's gotta wait for Carey to vacate the zone, he finally does. And now Cristal will walk it in. He'll just wind it around the board. Shea Carey will get to it. In the corner, walks it right around behind, throws it in front, but found Evan McIntosh instead of Solis. Solis gets the steal though, and now plays it to Bush Anderson who plays it back across to Solis. Carey with a drive, that's blocked by McIntosh. In the corner though, Solis gets to it. He's marked by Mumford. 
Plays the cross. Bush Anderson throws one in front. And Carey, I'm sorry, that's Striasi just couldn't get a stick on it. Now it's Cristal, top of the circle, walks in, fires, and a great glove save by Aaron Taylor to keep it 10 to two, 29 seconds left on the five on three. And Driasi, not the biggest guy in the world, knocked down Dunford in the front to make some space for himself. Aaron Taylor looks a little tired here. He's seen a lot of rubber in this third period. Well, you mentioned early in this period when he went down to make a save, he was slow to get up, and you could see him flexing that left leg there. He hope that he's okay. Daniel DeCristofaro tries to clear. Nice play by Solis to keep in. Thomas with a blast. Deflected in front, but Taylor makes the save. And now Evgeny Demon comes back the other way for Delaware. Gets around Thomas, across the blue line. Shot, blocker save, Gans. Driasi couldn't corral the rebound, but Thomas does. Under 10 seconds left on the five on three. Thomas plays it to Solis. Solis hesitates, now he circles back. So his teammates have to get out of the zone, they do. Thomas walks in, five on three is over. We're back to five aside. Hip check there from Penns. Now that's one, if maybe you want to call a trip, you could have there. Nice play by Solis to deflect that pass from Demon. And now he'll walk in, top of the circle, shot deflected by DeCristofaro. Driasi walks into the circle, but then loses the puck. Evgeny Demon brings it back the other way. It's a three on two if they hurry. Christos Bormanis right in front, across. Kalinin scores! The Aretz trick! Anton Kalinin makes it 11 to two on another beautiful pass from Christos Bormanis, his fifth assist of the night. They found a way to sneak a hat onto the ice. It's six goals for Anton Kalin in an absolutely phenomenal night and an even better feed from Christos Bormanis. And I'm telling you, you asked me late in the second period what I've liked the most tonight. The playmaking that we've seen from Darius Davidson and Christos Bormanis has been amazing. And if they could keep that kind of offensive flow going, then the discussion about getting this team into the playoffs isn't as far-fetched as some might think. Not at all, Gary. I think this team could start clicking at the exact right time. Wasn't well, that what they always say to you? You want to be playing your best hockey in the spring, not in the fall? Delaware's got a month to be able to make that happen. Aaron Taylor's always the first to know in the media timeout as he's the first off here as the official call it after. Taylor comes to the bench. Six goals for Anton Kalinin, still breaking his own record tonight for yeah. the most goals in a night. And he still has six minutes and 56 seconds to go. But again, not just him, but, you know, Bormanis with the five assists and a goal, so he's got a six-point night. Um, Demon's got a, he might have got the secondary helper on that one. Which if he did, that gives him a six assist night. We'll wait for Jeff, the official scorer, to make that determination. But man, you talk about firepower. And as I said it in the first period, and I'll say it again, we've been waiting for there to consistently be two scoring lines on this team. And it hasn't happened all year. It has certainly happened tonight. We'll hope it's a sign of good things to come. Well, you bring in Mark Anthony Simonetti. You bring in Darius Davidson. A lot of people think these moves need to be made trades. No, they don't. You can find players all over the place. Mark Anthony Simonetta was a huge signing for this team. Darius Davidson was a huge pickup for this team. Then you go back, Anton Kalinin, they did get back in a trade back from Watertown. Right. That's a huge pickup. Delaware and the players they've started with, Charlie Penns, Dan DeCristofaro, Evan McIntosh, Brennan Young, these guys are also making an impact. And obviously Aaron Taylor and that, Delaware is doing it every which way you can imagine right now. And playing without Patrick Tundle, Kieran Devine, and Bryce Lickie, who have all logged important valuable minutes for this team throughout the year and Kieran Devine's not the offensive defenseman that's going to light it up but I tell you from a defensive standpoint he's the guy you want out there against other teams top lines and they don't have him tonight and they didn't have him in Elmira Paisano's pass to McIntosh he just throws it across the neutral zone Masters kind of eased up on that hit as he saw Pfeiffer hunched over but they're going to call a penalty anyway it's going to be a roughing on know, Masters. I don't know. How, how do you call that a roughing? He pulled up to avoid a bigger hit because he saw the guy bent over. That is a terrible call. And that's not a homer thing. Look, if nothing else, I try to be fair. That's terrible. The game is 11-2. to two. There's 6.28 to go. You got to let them play. That's Gary, terrible. the only thing I could say is that they're trying to not let it get out of hand, but at the end of the day, it's a hockey game. Listen. If Masters went full speed in on that, then fine. I'm all for it. You saw him slow up and not actually make the hit. It's just a terrible call. 
Aaron Taylor covers up as the Rumblebees are back on the power play. 155 to go. And listen, I know that, and I, I hate picking on refs because I know they have a difficult job. And no matter what they do, one side doesn't like it. But in that situation, I think you could have let it go. All right, off the soapbox now. Bush Anderson plays it over to Driasi. Throws one in front. Was trying for Carey. He was marked nicely by Dunford. Cristal gets to the puck, though. Carey in the corner. There doesn't seem to be a lot. Uh, and you tell me if I'm wrong here. But when, when they're on the power play, it seems that there's not enough movement. Everything's on the outside right now for Battle Creek. On the five on three, obviously they got some good looks, but on the uh, on these four, five on fours hasn't been good. Carey's having a rough night. He took that shot up high. Another bump for him. Simonetta gets a break out in front of Bush Anderson. In front, backhand pass, Davidson, he scores! Short-handed on a beautiful setup from Mark Anthony, Simonetta, Darius Davidson's got four goals tonight which would have been a Delaware Thunder record if not for the Ovech trick from Tony Kalinin, and now it's 12 to two. How good is that from Simonetta? I'm more impressed with the playmaking than the actual finishing tonight, and Darius Davidson and Anton Kalinin have 10 of the 12 goals. Absolutely phenomenal play by Mark Anthony Simonetta. All started with a shot block by Brian Dunford. Off the draw, Evgeny Demon gets it back to Charlie Penns. 5.40 to go. Battle Creek still on the power play. And Charlie's just going to bang that one all the way down the other end to try to kill some of this man advantage. 103 to go. Five and a half left in the third. 12-2 Delaware. Solis. Works through to Cristofaro. Around behind the Nicoletti holds. Waits. Back to the point to Solis. Solis steps around him. But then he stops. And he'll play it along further. Nicoletti will get to it. Chris crosses with Solis, who now has it in the corner. Pfeiffer at the point. <laughs> seconds remain on the power play. And Aaron Taylor's been good tonight. I know the scoreboard wouldn't make you think so, but I think Taylor's had a real phenomenal game. And that play from Simonetta, that was an absolutely beautiful feed. The pass is behind him. He corrals it. He knows exactly where Darius Davidson is going to be, despite being shorthanded, right in front of the net. And it's 12-2. Nicoletti plays it down low for Solis, but again, no traffic in front, everything on the outside, not a lot of movement right now, which again, when you're down 10, maybe that's part of it. Luciani in the corner, plays it down low to Nicoletti. Back up top to Solis, he'll fake the shot. Passes over to Thomas, Thomas will fire one. That's gloved down by Taylor, he tried to clear it himself, but that was went right off of either Penns or Luciani. And into the corner. Thomas back at the point. Luciani across for Nicoletti. He'll play it down low to Solis. Solis holds. Nicoletti from the point. His shot hit Luciani in front. And Simonetta trying to get back the other way, but a good job by Thomas to get back. But now it's on the stick of Municello. Thomas spins back. He'll just play it in deep. We're back to five aside. Four minutes left in the third. Delaware leading by 10. Paisano with a shot from the point. Loose in front. Simonetta with a backhander. Still in front. Munichello turns. He shoots. And he scores. Not sure if Simonetta or Masters got a piece of that. Because Munichello looked like he was pointing at one of them. Saying, hey, that's yours. It's Eric Masters' goal. It looks like it hit him on the way in. 13-2 Delaware. Another ferocious flurry in front. Nothing Jans could do. He made like the first five saves, but Battle Creek just couldn't get to the puck. Munichello did, fired it on net, and we think Masters got a piece of it. If so, that would be Eric's third goal of the year. 13-2 Delaware with 3.48 to go. And I think the only thing you can, yeah, Eric Masters will get credited with the goal. The only thing you can hope at this point is that did they save enough for tomorrow night? Yeah. Shot, shot from the point from Paisano goes over the glass. Right, and if you're Battle Creek, obviously you're frustrated tonight. Do you come out with a purpose, a real purpose tomorrow? Obviously you just got a bit embarrassed here tonight. 13 to two, not a score you wanna put up. Like we said in the open, you come in to play this Thunder team and both teams are saying, all right, we have a chance for nine points this weekend. Both teams are thinking, hey, we can win the weekend series here. And Delaware come out and made a statement on Friday night. Huge statement tonight as they lead 13 to two with 325 to go. Taylor Cutting keeps it into the Battle Creek zone. Jordan Clark here 
Fires one from the blue line. Jans makes the save, and he'll hold on now, with Gary, 3.18 left. I know Battle Creek has struggled this season. I know they haven't been great. But if you're around the league, if you're a mentor, if you're a team like Elmira, and you take a look tonight, you see Delaware scored 13 times with a new lineup. It's got to open your eye a bit, no? I, I would think so, especially when, I mean, yeah. There's this no, team just lost to Port Huron 3-1 to one last night. Well, and that's, uh, you know, I, I can't hide the fact that the Thunder have lost 14 straight. Right. But when you go through those games, aside from maybe the 8-3 loss to Watertown that happened here at the end of a long weekend, they were in every game within a goal or two in the third period. So, you know, they easily could have stolen three or four wins out of that stretch. Well, Gary, you got to look at it this way. Imagine if Delaware had four more wins. Right. Four more wins. It would be a much different discussion when you talk about their playoff chances coming into tonight as opposed to the way it was sort of uh, mentioned on Twitter by, what is it, Bus League Hockey? Mm -hmm. Basically mocking the fact that eight teams will get into the postseason here in the FHL. Brennan Young walks through the neutral zone. He'll play it behind the net. Darius Davidson back up top, shot from the point from Basie. That's gloved down. Basie gives a little cross check to Solis. They'll have a few words. Basie hearing it from the bench of Battle Creek now too. And Solis, I love his game. He's been in the action all night, offensively, defensively. Obviously, like we know, tough to have a good night when you're trailing 13 to two. But I think this team's been real. I think Solis, I should say, has been good tonight. He has had a good night. There's been some bright spots for Battle Creek. You mentioned Solis. Driasi has shown some flashes. I like what I've seen out of Nicoletti. Bush Anderson seems to be a solid D-man. I mean, there, there are some pieces. you got to remember, this is a very young squad. Didn't have a ton of time to get themselves together uh, before the season. So despite their struggles, I mean, they're going through some big-time growing pains in Battle Creek. But they've got support of a great community. And, you know, they're going to keep plowing on. And listen, there's been no quitting these guys tonight, which says a lot for a team that's down 11. Right. So Lee will bring it back the other way. Pfeiffer through the neutral zone. Back pedals. Plays it across. Nice look for Nicoletti. You know, I would have liked to have seen him walk into that and just blast it. Throws one in front. Bouncing pucks in skates. So Lee couldn't get his stick free from Basie. And now here comes Darius Davidson. He'll just chip it in. It'll bounce in on Jans. He'll keep the play going with a minute 40 to go. Long outlet pass for Solis. He gets bumped by DeCristofaro and loses the puck to McIntosh. It's a heck of a long shift for Solis. Bump there from cutting on Thomas. Puck comes free. McIntosh plays it back for Masters. Masters looking to spin away from Thomas. We'll just play it on behind. Minute 20 to go. Bush Anderson trips it ahead. Gregorich couldn't get it by Jordan Clark. Nice punch there from Champlain. Gets it further along. Solis taken into the boards hard by Taylor Cutting. Now Cutting getting an earful from the Battle Creek bench as well. McIntosh plays it in. Masters throws it in front. Was looking for Evan McIntosh. Couldn't get a stick through. Well, you just heard the PA announcer make the uh, call. One minute to go. Pass intercepted from Bush Anderson. Could have got a break there for Gregorich, but the pass was under his stick. Gave to Cristofaro a chance to regroup. 45 seconds left. Thomas steals it away. Solis in front for Thomas. Can't get a stick on the backhand there. And he'll play it back to the point. Champlain with a shot. Bouncing puck. Aaron Taylor snatches that out of the air. And makes the save, 35 seconds to go. So you mentioned coming into the third period, you didn't want to see Delaware let up. I said I wanted to see Aaron Taylor have a shutdown period. So far, both those things have happened. Yep, Aaron Taylor played phenomenal all night long. Two goals given up on the night. Great night for Taylor. 13 goals for the Delaware Thunder. Obviously, that is a team record. Something to be excited about moving forward. 35 seconds left. Face-off win, but now the puck comes free. Christers Bormanis picks it up. Cross for Dunford. Dunford just tried to play, play it in deep. Chris stahl has got it. Back in front, Devin with a shot, and that's blocked by Nicoletti. And then the shot from the blue line is deflected into the corner by Nicoletti as well. Bormanis tries to play it in deep. Shea Carey works it along the board there. Kalinin after it. But Battle Creek plays it along. Basie keeps it in at the point. This will just about do it as we're down to three seconds. Two, one, shot from the slot, shot off the side of the net as Bormanis nearly buried one as the horn sounds, and he puts his head in his hands 
I guess a six point night wasn't enough for Christers. He wanted seven. 13 to two, the final from the Thunderdome. Delaware gets a long awaited win on home ice. They do a phenomenal job, everything right from the Delaware Thunder tonight in a 13 to two win. Well, you said it, everything right, and it started just 11 seconds into the game. When Darius Davidson scored his first goal as a member of the Thunder, Delaware Al shoots Battle Creek 43-36 tonight. It's a pardon me, that's a solid night for Aaron Taylor. 34 saves. He picks up his ninth win of the season. And it's been a long time since the Thunder faithful have witnessed a victory. It's the first time in 2020 the Thunder have won here in the Thunderdome. You got to go all the way back to that Saturday night against Danbury. Victory lap two here for Anton Kalina and Evgeny Demin and company. And a well-deserved one at that. Let me go over some of the numbers for you tonight. I think the stars will be easy. Anton Kalinin, Darius Davidson, Christos Bormanis. Christos Bormanis would be our three stars tonight, in my opinion. They don't ask me, but that would be my vote. Although, look at that. I completely forgot. Evgeny Demin, seven assists tonight. That is your Delaware Thunder record, a seven-point night with seven helpers. Simonetta and Kalinin each with six points. Kalinin, six goals. Simonetta, a goal and five assists. Darius Davidson, Christers Bormanis, Thomas Municello, each five-point nights. Four goals and an assist for Davidson. Five helpers for Bormanis, a goal and four assists for Thomas Municello. After that, assists for Taylor Cutting, Eric Masters with a goal, Basie, and Charlie Penns each with a helper as well. So it's not often that the Thunder have 10 guys on the score sheet, but that's what they had tonight. That'll happen when you put up 13. And in a game of utter dominance, Delaware, as you said, Mikey, makes a statement here on a Friday night heading into a three-day weekend against these Battle Creek Rumble Bees. And we talked to Coach Penns before the game. I asked him in our pregame interview, is this discussion of a playoff push something that you all are talking about, something that you really see as possible? He said without question, but it starts tonight. They needed this win tonight, and I think they needed it in the way they got it. They definitely needed that win, and they pushed forward. They worked hard, and you know they're up five to nothing after one. They could have just stayed and rolled at that, but no, they worked incredibly hard, found a way to get a huge win tonight, 13 to two. Delaware Thunder. So that's going to wrap it up for us. They're calling out the three stars of the night. Third star was the captain, Charlie Penns, who was phenomenal defensively tonight, bringing the physicality to the game. Darius Davidson with a five-point night is our second star. And Tony Kalinin, who sets a Thunder record with his six-goal night, gets the first star of the game. And I think you're right, Mikey. We'll be seeing him in number 90 here all the way out. I think we will, too. I know he'll be happy to wear number 90 again tomorrow night if he has that opportunity we're wearing the specialty jersey right. so we got him a number eight excellent <laughs> well it's cancer it is cancer awareness night tomorrow night so wear your purple you'll fit right in with the thunder and let's pack the thunderdome uh, we had a good crowd tonight but we could get a better crowd out here tomorrow on cancer awareness night tickets available at delawarethunder.com that's going to wrap things up for us again your final score the Delaware Thunder 13, the Battle Creek Rumble Bees 2. For Sue and all the technical crew that keeps us on the air each and every night here from Thunderdome, he's Mike Basile. I'm Gary Schofield. Thanks for watching. We'll see you right back here tomorrow night starting around 6.50.